Yo, what is going down, y'all? Welcome in the most underrated podcast you already know, man. Broadcasting from Certified Tattoo Studios. I am your guy, Thomas the Franchise. The homie Dow Palantonio sitting across from me. JJ Stringstein at the end of the table. March Madness up on the TV. Ooh. We are officially under mother... We are officially underway. We locked. I almost got... I almost... Uh, almost Caught yourself there. Yeah, I job. almost... Uh, I would have allowed it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have allowed it. March Madness is here. We're locked. We're locked in. Okay. Locked we're locked in. Loaded, Brackets boys. locked. Madness locked. Cast. We're still doing it for you guys? I don't even know what's going on. You know, I'm distracted. You know we're repping heavy in here. Go blue. You know, if your bracket does not include Michigan deep, you might be in trouble. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I might be in trouble because yeah. my bracket does include them deep. Even though they were in the national championship last year, did lose some starters to the league, but I still think they uh, – I, I got them down to the final four. So we're going to talk a lot of March Madness. going to break down some brackets. Thank you to everybody that sent in your brackets participating in our bracket challenge. Thank you to everybody that uh, followed the instructions. It seems yeah. like everyone's pretty on point there, right? Shouts to the people who have already paid as well. We're giving you through the end of the weekend. I'm going to give you a little reminder, though. Shouts to you guys who have paid but if i get your money sent to me sunday night midnight which is actually monday morning i'm gonna send that shit right back okay <laughs> just so you guys know we ain't playing okay so uh make sure you get your money in time let's play this right way you know don't make it any harder on us man we're doing this for you guys what's what's the latest they have sunday sunday at midnight sunday at midnight if sunday you, at midnight okay so if, if you don't get it by then. that yeah what is it uh, mountain time midnight yeah so 11 sure. 11 o'clock pacific if you're out on the west you coast if you're on the east coast you got till two uh two in the morning yeah because that's good. that's the new day for us right so that's it it's a new day yes i'm gonna it send is. it right back to you uh yeah so tons of march madness combo sneakers uh sneaker combo we got a few packages here we got some more gifts oh brian the philly plug sent in some shit so i'm excited to check out that he sent in a letter as well as some packages big time supporter uh we actually have two pairs of shoes over here i don't know what they are hmm. uh, jj did you bring those in or where did those even come from i brought them in it's They're all thanks you. to the re-ups your so. personal collection no. oh the re -up. yeah the re-ups looking out for me so helping me out bringing some JR. heat to the game look so. at you <laughs> oh, oh, bring it Wait. <laughs> oh, I tried to hit him with the shot, and yeah. I messed up the song, too. Where's, where's JJ it. getting these connections, man? We're, we're in here. <laughs> JJ's bringing some heat to the game, as he said. And these are two pairs that neither of you got or were able to get. So. Mm. That's what I'm talking All about. Right. Cue that intro. Man. I, I actually brought a pair as well. I brought the Inertias. I went ahead and did a cream lace swap, so I was going to see kind of what your first impressions are with that. On the cream? Yeah. Sorry, man. I had to get J Rock going again. This is my win. This win shit is my. This is my Michigan. You know what I mean? This gets me excited for the tournament. Even though we don't play till seven twenty tonight. Yeah. But uh, no, I'm excited to look at those. I didn't swap mine out. I was gonna try to do it last night. Got too busy. Yeah. But uh, I think I might wear. I was telling you, I'm going to Vegas next week. I might wear. I got a suit, like a bluish gray, a dope bluish gray suit that matches the inertia perfectly with the peach laces they got them popping if i can get like if i can find like a nice peach shirt to go underneath the suit yeah oh fool, i'm gonna be crushing the game hey. rolling around in a suit with some chunky ass 700s mm. but i'm gonna be comfortable true it's gonna be awesome true i'm so excited i'm so you know because you're i'm excited to go out i got a lady i ain't worried about pulling bitches i ain't worried about mm. i don't give up dude i'm in literally don't give an f mode like i'm going there not giving an F. I'm rolling out in a suit with some 700s, just looking ridiculous. Probably four gold chains, oh, Supreme nice. Lighter holster, like whatever. Yeah. I don't even care. Uh -huh. It's Vegas, and I got a lady, and I just don't care. I'm in don't care mode mm -hmm. these days, man. I'd talk about talk about. I would be just doing Whataburgers. I'd be doing in and outs yep. all day, every yep. day. No yep. ladies. Whew, man, not loving it. Loving I'm just it in there. And I just found out the homie Chris Roberts. I don't know how. Uh, we didn't know this, but he is going to be in Vegas. He gets there the 28th, and he's going to the 28th through the 30th. I'm there the 27th through the 30th. So, or actually, I leave the next morning. So, uh, he's going to be out there, big time sneaker guy. So, we're probably going to roll down to UN, try to um, hit up, meet up with JC at some point. Yeah. I heard uh, Slobby Robbie is opening his Generation Cool shop out there. Yeah. So, we're going to try to uh, stop by that. I think there's a party on Saturday night. Okay. For like, a, I don't know, like some kind of VIP party for it, and then the grand opening is on Sunday the 30th. So you might, I may have to recheck those dates, but uh, that's so, what Chris was telling me. So I'm kind of I'm pretty geeked on that. So what you're saying is, uh, if I'm taking a red eye flight out there, 29th, <laughs> does that sound good? I'm already ready already. Wait, okay. Friday night. That's Friday night. Yeah. No wait, 29th. Sa no, that's Saturday. That's night. Saturday. You need to be there. You need to be there Saturday. So you got to come out red eye Friday night into okay. early Saturday morning. I think I can do it, dog. I, I think I got like an extra a pull out bed in my room. I got my own spot. Can we do the cast from there? Oh, dude, that's another thing we got to talk about. Why bro. wouldn't we do the cast from there? We could do the cast. It's not on a normal cast day, 
but maybe we do it there. I got to talk to Robin. I got to tell. I, actually, I don't have to talk to Robin. I, I just need to tell Robin that I'll be leaving. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Dang. Okay. All right. Uh, hey, this is gonna go hey, over well. Remember, remember when I talked about the being proactive and planning? Yeah. If I say it today, that's a good plan for me. That's, that's true. That's a week out. That's true. Okay, that's really good for me. Very good logic by you. That's a win. I like that. Okay. Win. Okay. Win, 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 win. Sorry, man. I'm F looking everything at you. else. I'm looking at you, but I'm also looking behind you. I know. I can Because see. I can actually see the game. I'm pretty distracted. You're looking right out. <laughs> There's people with horns right now. There's not even any game going on. Dog. I don't care. It's March Madness. I'm locked in. Wow. Okay. I can see you're looking right over the top of my head. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right, though. This is great. I, I mean, literally. I'm not. It's fine. You can do whatever Look, you want. I'm looking at Bill Murray. We were literally golfing talking hat. about this yesterday. I can see, like, yeah. Thomas will be like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh-huh. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just I guess. <laughs> Especially when once some of the good games come on, be like, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, uh, yeah, dude, I saw that, too. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Who do, you have, who do you have winning this game? Louisville, right? Yeah, who, who doesn't have the bill? Yeah, you got to have the bill. Who doesn't have the bill? Uh, uh, JJ doesn't have the bill. He didn't do a bracket. Yes, I did. Oh, he did a bracket? Yeah. Did you send out the money? Yes. Oh, he's in. Look at that. JJ, I didn't get no money from you. Okay. I mean, he you, do, still Sunday you at midnight. have Sunday at midnight. Okay. okay. I work with Thomas <laughs> and I get paid tomorrow. <laughs> so hold your shit, hey, my dude. Oh, hey, we told, we told all of our viewers, hey, there's no special treatment for Stringstein, okay? You want to play? You send, it, you send it to the Venmo. Okay. okay. We're ready. Calm yourself. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, no, as we, before, we get into, uh, before we get into March Madness and all this stuff, a big moment for you today, bro. I got, we got to bring this to light. You're drinking coffee, my man. You never drink coffee. This is the first time I've ever seen you drink coffee in my life, I think. So we don't usually, we normally just sit here mm -hmm. two hours straight and talk. Yeah. We don't take no breaks. There's not really, uh, we don't really stop the cameras. We don't really stop rolling. Yeah. Today, we may have an emergency. You may be pooping your pants here <laughs> a little bit. I'm not going to lie. This is your first yeah. time drinking coffee. Yeah. Uh, or like you're, you're trying to get into it. Yeah. Right? I, I need something to kind of keep you a little so regular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe something a little bit more regular, maybe a little bit just, I don't know, man. I've had a couple sips like I've talked to you about. I don't know if I've told yeah. the cast, but uh, I've had a couple sips in my life. I'm just not a big fan. It is it is what it is. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, couple not, sips in my life. <laughs> it's not bad, but I'm looking for a little a little pick-me-up in the morning, a little bit of regularity yeah. maybe in the morning, On which the would be nice. You know? I know people that shit every morning at 9 a.m., yeah, no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, man, I, I'd like to have that in my life. <laughs> you know? I'd like to have that in my life. So I'm actually heading to the butt doctor tomorrow. So we're going to talk about some digestion stuff. Probably gonna, He's probably going to look at my butthole. And that's, that doesn't sound I real fun. No, but, please. But, uh, no one needs to know this. What the hell? He's going to look at my butthole. He's Who probably, says that? I don't know. On the cast. But that's what's going to happen. So I'm trying to, I'm trying health and wealth. I okay. like health and wellness. Cheers. Health and wellness. Cheers. Drink some coffee. How are, uh, how far down are you on that? Uh, not very far. Not He's even got a mini, yet. a mini seven 11 cup. Yeah. It was filled probably three quarters of the way full. Yeah. And you're still not to half. And that, is it still hot? I got the jitters a little bit. Oh, no, it's, it's warm. It's okay. It's not hot anymore. So, cause you got the, uh, you had the Red Bull this morning mm -hmm. and then we, you were like, oh, I think I'm going to try this coffee thing. I want to make sure, you know, I want to get my digestion on point. Yeah. You think they have some decaf? We go over there on Forge. No, no decaf. D. No, key, no D. Uh, <laughs> no D. There, there was some D in there, but there was no calf. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, we, uh, got the, got the, a little bit of the normal, just the regular. The exclusive blend. Exclu yeah. The 7 Eleven that's exclusive. That's what it was. So, <laughs> Exclusive. Uh And now you're sipping that. I'm hoping that you don't have to run and run to the bathroom during the show. I don't. It's, it's gonna be. Oops! I crap my pants. Moment. Oops! I crapped it again. Yeah. No yeah. Doubt. All right. Well, um, cheers, Brittany. So I really like that. But we. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to tell everyone out there, dude. We. If you're a Keur a Keurig user, yeah, and you love cappuccinos or you love lattes, we copped. Me and my lady copped the new Keurig, dude. It is so fire hmm. it does uh it does steamed milk on the side dude oh wow so you got <clears throat> you've got it does regular coffee six eight ten or twelve ounce cup it does shot of espresso uh espresso that's espresso. Espresso. sick so it does shots of espresso there so what we'll do is we'll blend up and uh shout out to my girl she's kind of been doing a ton of like just research. figuring out yeah we well we did a lot of research before we bought it and it had a lot of good reviews, but there was a lot of people complaining about little things. Once you get it, you realize like, all right, these people are just idiots. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you, you get that with products, you, you read reviews and you're like, I don't know what these fools are talking about. Like, yeah. are they, 
they stupid. They don't know how to use the thing. I think it's not necessarily stupid, but I think a lot of people lack creativity. And that's what I would encourage you. Be creative with the machine. Mix it up, dude. There's a ton of different things you can do. So what we'll do, uh, my girl will blend up a shot of espresso in the bottom. Then she'll use the same cape cup. She'll brew a, a six ounce cup of coffee on top of that. And then she'll steam up the milk with either a latte or cappuccino setting. Um, the latte gives you a little bit more steamed milk, which is what I like. She likes a little less, so she does the cappuccino, and it's a little stronger. Mine's not as strong, so she mixes. We'll do like half and half, half creamer, half milk, and then it'll stir up the milk. Once the coffee and the shot are in the cup, you bought, we, have, we bought these uh, bigger cappuccino cups. Boom, you pour the milk in. It is extremely mm. fire. Wow. I can't even, dude, it's like, uh, it's like drinking a little dessert for breakfast every day. Huh. I'm not as good. I think I'm doing something wrong because when I try to do it, I don't. Mine doesn't taste as good as hers. Huh. She's like, I don't know, babe. I'm doing. You're doing the same setting, but I think she's doing some extra shit. And not telling Gotta me. Gotta she's be. like, she's just trying to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why she. Never mind. I don't know why she would do any extra shit. Maybe yeah. she, she. She's trying to keep the secrets. I think to herself. You know what? I can relate, and and you know how I can relate. How? Because obviously you did something great on the Supreme app this morning, and I didn't. Ooh, ooh, you got ooh, the ooh, chair. Ooh, ooh, I didn't. Yes. So I can relate. You I get it. You didn't want to save it for sneakers and fashion. You're. I didn't. I'm, I'm heated. I'm heated. Dude. But I'm proud of you. I put Here's why. that red chair in my cart without even using a bot. How the hell did you mess that up? But you couldn't check it. You didn't check it out? But you didn't check it out, did you? No. I actually did load for a second there, but then it mm. like, <laughs> but like cool. still. Yeah. Cool story. Yeah. Damn it. I remember the first time I listened to Metallica load. Oh. Good one. Anyways, check this out. What? <laughs> so I think shout outs to me. I think you already gave me credit a little bit on this. So I, I kind of followed the UK site this morning, right? Yes. To see kind of with what happened with the drops. And it looked like the red chair sold out in seven seconds. The black chair was 14 seconds on the UK side. So you told me this morning, you're like, dog, I got the red chair. I'm ready to go. Locked in. I'm like, eh, maybe I ought to go with the black. I said, you have double your chances in terms of time, right? Because seven, uh, seven seconds versus 14. This fool puts the black chair in his cart. Yep. Lands it. Yep. Ca- no captures. Processes. No. Perfect. Got a black chair. Yep. So now your boy's got to go buy the red chair. I got to have the matching chair with you, man. It, the cast deserves it. I think it was, I think it was good that we both didn't get two black chairs, because it's nice to have uh have a red and a black. I know. I'm glad I got the black. It would have been cool if you got the black. Either way, either yeah. one of us get the black, and then one of us pay resale for the red. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's you that's paying resale for the red. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe. So here's the bad news. So maybe that's why I feel okay about it. I'm no. like, you yeah, know, this is a good thing. I'm trying no. to spin it as a positive. Three hundred dollars out of your account's not really a positive for you. Sure. <laughs> but uh, I think we've already agreed. Kicked you're paying resale dick. for the red. Yeah. No doubt. Whatever happens, you have to pay I resale. I gotta go for red. red. I got the black at retail. Got super lucky. Blessed think, by uh, the supreme gods this morning. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit for the red i think it will drop a little bit i don't know how much i don't think it's gonna brick obviously but uh uh i think let's get right into it i know it's sneakers and fashion but uh i think jj has a little bit of announcement uh, about sneaker con i think it's relevant that we have the black and the red director's chair for sneaker con for sure at our booth no doubt you know what i mean no doubt so, so yeah we'll, let, we'll jump into sneakers and fashion here first and uh, we'll start the show with that and then we'll jump into uh we'll talk a little bit about brackets march madness tournament kind of yeah. go over some upsets who we got deep what our final fours look like how that's setting up um youtube comments and then we got a little bit of news at the end of the show we'll go over a few different news stories some underrated news quick hitters some stuff you may not have heard about so that's how the show sets up uh sneakers and fashion we are talking supreme there yeah uh, anything else you went for this morning <laughs> i did actually <laughs> uh, i forgot i but yeah. when i just asked that i totally forgot you did go for something i, I did I did. I did. Um, so obviously, there's there was a big the biggest collab this week was arguably um, either the Nike Tailwind and Supreme shoes, which we have already talked about. Um, but the arguable point is, I don't I don't think those were hot. Those right. were not great. Yeah, those were shit. Um, however, uh, the other big part of this release was the Supreme, the Gilbert and George collab. Okay, now this is an interesting collab, and I'll get to what I bought here. So. These Gilbert and George, they're British artists, and uh, what they're kind of known for. Uh, I don't know anything about Gilbert and George. Yeah. School me, school yeah. me real so, quick. So they have they have a, an odd style, obviously. Um, so the duo met in 1967. Uh, you know, elegant suits, button ups, uh, became really good friends, and I think partners of, so, of some sort. I don't want to get too much into that, but uh, so they're looking uh, like Harry and Lloyd, basically. Yeah, a little Dumb bit. And dumber. Yeah, a little you bit. You are one pathetic loser. Sure, sure. But one of their most uh, infamous pictures is what they call Four Nights, um, and this is uh, which at the time was seen as a romantic portrait uh, of racist skinheads. 
Now, what I want to talk to you about about these guys is their work is often referred to as being like punk influenced, um, kind of against society, against government, against, you know, against the grain is kind of what their art and, and, and how their art is critiqued. You know, they're against society. They're again against the, yeah. the majority, yep. that kind of thing. And I think that's what actually, I think that's why they were, te- they teamed up with Supreme because Supreme is kind of like that, right? You know, they're a street brand, you know, they want to, uh, you know, they want to obviously have their own kind of name in that type of industry, just as these artists do. Um, so I think it was a great partnership for them. I don't really love their pop art as they call it necessarily. It's, it's, you know, the visuals to me just, you know, I'm not a big art head, but they don't do anything for me. But I did go ahead and uh, pop on their skateboard deck that they uh, that they collabed with, and the let's see, it was called the Gilbert and George Supreme Death After Life uh, skateboard. That's the one you copped. I did, man. Yeah, I copped that from Supreme just to just to get something today because I'm <laughs> the proud owner of a new, yeah, uh, of a new of Supreme a new deck. Sk- All right. Supreme deck, man. I like it. I didn't get the chair. Got a Supreme Deck. He's the proud owner, ladies and gentlemen. But it wasn't a bad cop. As you may know, I'm a big skateboard deck collector, right? So I've got, you know, some of Bam's old decks from the 90s. I've got some of his new reissued ones. Um, I've got a lot of Alien Workshop, some Rob Deere deck signature boards, um, you know, some Danny Way signature boards. Man, I just love all that shit. So um, I do do, uh, strategically place a lot. I used to know some uh, art directors uh, for some of the biggest companies, Primitive Skate Decks. So um, I have a lot that he actually made himself. So, uh, you know, I'm a big collector, man, and, and I love that. So I think this deck will be nice. Uh, again, I'm not a big fan of their arts, uh, but I do respect it. So happy to have it, man. Dope. So I was able to get something with Supreme this morning. At least you got something. I did. At least, you're, at least you got something. At least you're paying 300 for the red chair. Everything's <laughs> going fine. Yeah. Everything's going good today. Yeah, I'm over $400 now involved <laughs> with the chair and the deck, okay? <laughs> Two <laughs> items. You're over 400 deep. That's a great day. Let's actually see if this, uh, uh, what this skateboard board is going for just out of curiosity um anything else that you kind of saw on the drop that no was dude I, I thought about copying with the uh black or gray playboy jacket just because i thought it'd have good resale mm-hmm. but i didn't want to risk having uh trying to check out too much shit so i just i really wanted the chair so i was like that's the one thing i'm throwing in my cart i'm going for the chair chair only yeah it was 100 percent mine focused on the chair there was nothing else that anything else i bought today would have been for resale purposes so uh, the chair definitely wanted to keep. Super happy to have it. Um, but yeah, that was it for me, bro. Didn't, nope. didn't go into anything. Are Supreme Decks still reselling like they used to? Not really. It doesn't I was seem say, like it. Yeah, dude, I mean, they're I think, cheap as hell now. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a few of them that sell out. Like obviously the, the Marvin Gaye one sold out. But, you know, I th- people aren't giving it away now. But yeah. yeah, they're not, you know. I've mentioned this guy before, but if you guys don't follow Eric White back on, yeah. uh, on IG, man, that fool is putting out some of the best content on IG and it's all Supreme related. He collects Supreme. He does videos with Supreme items. He just does a ton of Supreme shit. I just find his content fire. And, uh, anytime I can take an opportunity to put you guys on to someone that I think does dope work, uh, happy to do it, man. Super happy to do it. Yeah. Um, so if you don't follow Eric White back on IG, make sure you do, man. It's simple. Eric White back. Sure. Uh, yeah. So it looks like my deck is reselling for a little bit. So it was eighty eight bucks, um, and it's reselling for one twenty five. So uh, yeah, not bad. I guess well, I, I guess I could get rid of it, but I think that'd be about retail after. <laughs> right, yeah. right. So I'll just keep it. Plus, what you pay with taxes and everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, my director's chair was one. What was the? What was it? One sixty before tax? And, yeah, I think um, it was like one eighty seven after. Yeah, yeah. After yeah. It's all was it one sixty or one fifty eight in uh, on retail? Retail or before all the one sixty. Okay, so yeah, it ended up being. 187 on an undercover cop afterwards. Nice. So, uh, one. Oh, sh- dude, I just, it was not 187. Dang, I gotta give myself a shot for that one. Uh, sorry, 176. Hmm. 176.80. Uh, so I got, it was 160, $10 shipping and handling, and then 680 on tax. Gotcha. So not too bad. 176.80. Already got the, uh, confirmation email yeah dope pumped dude how, how do you like paying that new tax with supreme oh i love it it is what it is right yeah <laughs> it is it what it is it's not bad it's not depends on where you live i guess over here it's not that bad 680 on 160 dollar purchase what, what are you gonna do yeah all in all supreme drop not so tight again the chairs the chairs is it cool that's, that's really the coolest thing yeah so and then there's still a bunch of accessories from previous drops still available mm-hmm. do you see that yeah there's i still, do still still uh, a bunch of little stuff logging everything now yeah you know, yeah, the fanny pack sense. and like easiest a little way to get rid of shit. So. Right, right. Yeah. So um, that was Supreme this morning. Hopefully you guys got what you wanted. Leave it in the comments below. Um, let me know if you guys got anything that, or if you were going for anything, if you copped anything. 
And uh, maybe what you think stuff will be reselling for. Yeah. I think resale has been really hard to gauge this season, especially on Supreme. Mm -hmm. A lot of the stuff that I thought would be hyped is not. Uh, and then a lot of the stuff I didn't think would have that much resale has some resale value. Yeah. So it's it's been an interesting interesting uh, couple weeks here. Yeah. The start of the Supreme season. Um, had some buffering issues on the March Madness, but now we're back. Yeah. I was uh, I was wondering what was going on there. Upset alert. Are we on upset alert right now? Minnesota's leading Louisville 25-19. Uh-oh. In the first? Four minutes ago in the first. I'm just kidding. We're not on upset alerts. It's the first. Relax. Relax, guys. <laughs> Calm down. Who's the fool with the crazy hair out there? I don't oh, know, but no. Michigan got voted best hair in the tournament. Yeah, that's by what the I heard. Under, by, uh, there's a website called... Uh, <sighs> the Undefeated, wasn't it? Or Is it The Undefeated or The Underrated? Oh, it has to be the undefeated. Undefeated. Yeah, the it underrated. Was the undefeated. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say the underrated, and I got confused yeah. in my mind. The undefeated, yeah, they rated Michigan the best uh, best hair in the tournament. Well-deserved or not? I think so. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know. Look What's, at that guy in Minnesota right there. Looks like uh, the honey badger. That's what I was saying. Yeah, Ty, <laughs> Tyron Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like the honey badger. He does, he does. Jogging up uh, well, I would say Ignis has pretty good hair. He does. Yeah. Is that how you say his name, Ignis? Uh... I just call him Brzdakis. Brzdakis. I just call him by the last name. Uh, you don't do, you don't. Uh, I don't go first name on Last name first, first name last? No. Got they him. asked him if he, they asked him about Montana. He said, I don't know anything. I'm from oh. Canada. All right. That was it. Check it out. Hey, you want to see these inertias? Yes. Lay swap? Yes. Before we jump into uh, what JJ's got. Things. Yeah, we'll see. Let uh, me look at those. Then thing. we'll take a look at the other shoes. Then I got we'll a headline go about the Supreme. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. My uh, dad's grabbing that. So this is a long ass headline, but okay. Okay. So. Back in December 2018, the tech giant Samsung was in Beijing talking about their latest phone. And while they were doing that, they also announced a collab with Supreme. But okay. the thing is, is that the guys who were supposed to be the execs of Supreme who showed up to speak at this event, they weren't the execs of Supreme. Oh, shit. It was a net. They were the execs of a network that was stealing the brand's name and selling bootleg or counterfeits or knockoffs of supreme i saw an article on world star mm. pop up about supreme stores uh does this have to do with that is yes. this a similar situation yeah, this is, okay I like you so gave now, me that and i yeah just so these people it. have opened up supreme stores now as well yep so and it looks like the exact same wow it actually yeah the fixtures the, everything they look Practically the same. The biggest differences are the box logo sizes here and there. And then there's like a few different things on like small details just to kind of like make it different in a way mm. so they can't necessarily sue them for it. Right. But like, have you ever seen that bootleg brand called Not Supreme? You guys ever seen that? It's exact same like Supreme box logos and all that stuff. It's basically like bootleg Supreme. They're doing a, bootle a bunch of putting Supreme stuff on, you know, hmm. bootleg stuff, different stuff that Supreme never made. Right. But it's crazy because they'll change the logo of, of the Supreme. Uh, they'll change the Supreme logo just very slightly, and they'll have a little knot up in the corner of the box logo, and it's like tiny. Oh, really? Or a little, yeah, knot down here, and it's not, not Supreme. Supreme. Yeah, you haven't heard of that? Uh -uh. Yeah, it's, they actually have some really dope stuff. Like it's actually pretty fire. Um, I actually had a dude. I'm. I'll uh, I'll bring it in. He sent me a bootleg Supreme uh, hoodie. Someone that listens to the cast, you don't want to be mentioned, but he sent me a bootleg Supreme hoodie, and basically it's uh, a champion. It's one of those champion hoodies that's got the champion. It's all white. It's got the champion C on the cuff, and it's got the champion stitched into the hood. Hmm. You remember when champion did yeah, drop yeah. those? But they didn't have anything on the front. This has a Supreme logo on the front. So oh, it's really? got a Supreme box logo, which is it's it's. Uh, screen printed on it's okay. not stitched yeah, in not stitched. and then it's got but the champion shit is all stitched in hmm. so it's pretty crazy so i think it's like someone just took a champion hoodie and then put a supreme logo on it kind of bootlegged it or whatever but um he sent it to me i was like yeah i don't give a shit i, I think it's cool like, interesting yeah so he sent it over and uh yeah I'll, I'll bring that in on maybe on monday cool we're all wear it in see, see what that looks like but um the bootleg supreme stuff overseas i saw they did that with yeezy remember they opened like a yeezy store I think yeah it was like in china thailand or yeah. something thailand or china or one of those yeah same kind of shit and then uh so with this are they closing them down or is there anything they can do so what happened was back in 2015 a british company called the international brand firm they registered a license in italy and they were successful Oh, and they started shit. oh they started selling Wild. fake Supreme. Wow. So they're going they're trying Supreme. to do serious. They're getting licensing. Getting licensing. Shit. Yeah, but the thing is, ironically enough, is that it took until 2017 for Italian court to find out that the original Supreme brand actually literally uh, filed a trademark 
a month before oh, this shit. Uh, other brand. So hmm. apparently authorities ended up seizing the merchandise, but that didn't stop them. They decided to go to Spain. They did the same exact thing. They right. got the trademark, and then they just exploded from there. And they have trademarks in 54 countries. So this is Supreme's fault for not trademarking their shit worldwide? Sounds like is that it. what it sounds like? Yes, because uh, in, certain com- uh, in certain countries, sort of like Spain and China, they have this legal legal term called first to use and or oh. no first to file okay so what happens is anyone if okay so because supreme isn't filed in uh for example let's say because let's we'll start with like germany okay they don't have a store in germany they haven't filed a trademark or anything yep some random ass kid could file for a supreme trademark in germany wow and they could have it no and shit. supreme can't have it gotcha. and the thing is is and that they win because they were first to file first yes to file, yeah and, wow. but in the u.s it's first to use so the trademark is awarded to the first person first party to make a valid commercial use of that mark in the u.s so it protects the brand a little do bit. you know what uh, by chance do you know what constitutes valid commercial use is that making a first sale is that putting up a website what is that uh, you know? it sounded like it's the first sale okay but Interesting. um it's crazy because uh i forgot what year it is but i think it was actually last year they went into uh the original supreme tried to sue this bootleg supreme in spain and the oh wait international og og supreme og supreme new york supreme. went into uh, a bootleg one and tried to sue them yes okay and they lost wow yeah. which country was it which one did they tried to sue uh spain in spain oh yeah wow. and the thing is España. is that uh then uh then literally months later, apparently, we don't know if it's un- it's sort of unclear that uh, Samsung knew if, su- if the Supreme they were working with was real or fake or not. Yeah, yeah. Either way, they canceled the collab. Hmm. Oh. But I have a feeling they didn't know and they r- screwed up extremely oh, yeah, badly. I think they, but, they probably got, um, they, they, they got got. Yeah. Then they realized they sure. got got and they were like, Screw no, it. We're not we're doing done. anything. Real Supreme yeah, or not Real Supreme, crazy. we're done with this. Because I was seeing on Hypebeast, there was like a bunch of articles here and there saying they were just having a Samsung Supreme collab. And I was like, holy crap, that's yeah. going to be insane. Wireless right. and then chargers. Very, I can think of all the crazy. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then yeah. eventually they just cut it off. I was like, what the hell? And now to see this, it's like, oh my gosh, they almost like lost anything. And the ironic part is, is that if your company is having fakes being made, that's a sign of success. Yeah, right. But the yeah, thing right. is, is that... You have to learn how to control that like mm-hmm. counterfeit market because it could get under control. So yeah. that's, that's a little bit of business advice for people out there wanting to kind of expand their brands worldwide. Yeah. If you don't like act quick enough, someone could steal it from you and mm-hmm. fuck and, you and over. It's just interesting that uh, the different countries have have different laws. Yeah. Like they use something you never really think about, for especially sure. if you're starting a brand. I know uh, people starting a brand in the U.S. You don't ever think about like having to get. Uh, trademarks in every country you're trying to do business in, you know, yeah. Yeah. Um, or at least probably not right not away in the moment. because you're not even thinking about expanding that sure. far. You well, know, most people aren't even thinking about shipping worldwide sure. or shipping outside their country. They're just trying to get something up and going. Mm-hmm. Uh, but honestly, that's a uh, Supreme deserves a shot for that, dude. You're that yeah. big of a company. Once you get to that They're point, once you've been around the, the amount of time company. they've been around, right? You've got it, dude. Who's who's your lawyers? You got who's protect, working for you guys? Yeah, you got to protect your brand. But the thing is, is that representatives same people that are doing your quality gram, control. What the representatives of the uh, of this bootleg brand said? Everything's different. Uh, it was just it was just a bunch of bullshit. Just defending it, but they were they were in their there's slight differences. Legal. I wouldn't say everything's different. Those yeah. guys. Jeez, Dow. Do you have a? Are you an upset alert here? Uh yeah, a little bit. Do you have Do you have the Ville? I have the Ville. Yeah. Who's the Um yeah, I have the Ville as well. Same I have here. the Ville playing playing Michigan State. Yeah. Uh, in the round of thirty two. So Same. I have, yeah. I think every who doesn't who has yeah. who has Bradley over Michigan State. I bet you some people do have Minnesota over Louisville. It's a ten over a seven, so it's not super. Uh, not super huge. But we're looking we're looking at it here. Uh, Louisville's making a little little bit of a comeback. They're down sure. two now. It's almost the end of the first here. But uh, March Madness underway. Mm. Go ahead and continue along. Let me see those. All inertia. right, check it out. Here's the inertia. Oh, geez. I'm going to have to fix that. Oh, damn JJ, you're going to have to come around. <laughs> Just let, let JJ. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, these are actually. Are these the same laces I got or different? Are these not rope plate supply? 
No, they are rope play supply. I wonder if they might be the same. What I, what I think so they match the outsole, perfect. Yeah, dude, they're spot on. But I don't know, man. They they almost look like a a cheaper lace, in my opinion as well. Not so much like the one that comes with it because that rope lace is really shitty. The the OG that comes with it. But I don't know. There's there's kind of a cheap look to them. But the color mat the colorway matches great. So maybe I'd want like a skinnier lace. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. Like maybe I maybe I want it to be a little skinnier. It does look fatter than the the ones I have in mind. Does it? It they look wider. Yeah. And it almost looks fatter than the rope laces I got as well. Yeah. But mine are look a little bit more tan than cream. Correct. Mine are like a little bit of uh, mine are a little Danny Tanner. But they nice. don't look too bad. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they look pretty good though. The color is sweet, dude. I think it matches I, perfect. I think uh, I'm actually a fan. Are you, you know what, Dan? Dude, I think Danny Tanner would be a fan. You think so? If you got the tan laces in there, oh, he's got to be the chunky, the yeah. chunky dad joints. Could chunky you see boys. This? Could you see him wearing these on uh, what's the show they do? Uh, him and Rebecca Donaldson did. Oh, Wake up, San Francisco. Wake up, San Francisco. <laughs> look at that, dude. Everywhere you look. Yeah. Look at this. Look at these things. What do you think, JJ? Those are sick. You still wouldn't buy them, but they're sick. Who would be more likely to wear these? Uncle Jesse, Uncle Joey, or Danny? What do you think? I have no idea. You don't know who those people are. Shocker. Yeah, I was All right. like, yeah. At first, I thought when it's you enough. said Joey, I thought you it's said. Enough. No, it's enough full house. I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Finish. At first, when you said Joey, I thought you meant the front desk, and I thought you were talking about people around here. I'm like, uh. Right. You <laughs> thought the Joey, the only Joey you know, <laughs> yeah. the one that works here. Not the Joey Gladstone. <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> no. What was the what was the animal he always did? Mr. Woodchuck. Mr. Woodchuck, yeah. Oh, are you saying you like wood? <laughs> yeah. There you are go. you saying it smells like wood? <laughs> Damn, that's too that was, much. Mr. Woodchuck was fire. That's uh, too much. So yeah, I think they're cool. I, I think they do um they do look a little bit wider. They yeah. almost look like skate laces. Almost, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I used to I, I actually took them from my etnies. But I like I like them. Yeah. Uh I do I like them better than the oval laces they come with. We talked about those. I think yeah. those oval laces that all the 700s come with are yeah. just awful. And if you're someone that's cinching the shoe up, tying them all the way tight, and then using the huge rabbit ears with the oval laces, <laughs> uh, dude, I've seen, not, not trying to call out the UK, but I've seen a lot of pictures and people from the UK yeah. doing that with their 700s. Dads are us. Dude, I don't understand. Yeah. Did you, uh, weren't, have you worn these yet? Uh, I put my, yeah, well, I wore them. I, or just around the, the crib. House. Okay, yeah. yeah, I was gonna say these are. And most most of the crib is is carpet, you right? Know, but uh, yeah, these are cool, man. I I, I, like, I like the uh, I like the other laces a little better. I like mine a little better, uh, and I also think I also actually like the original salmon ones better. Yeah. Someone sent me a lace swap, and they actually did it with the oval coral laces. They look so fire. Other than the the yeah. oval laces, if they were flat, they'd be super fire. But they still look good. The colors like perfect. Dude. Perfect. Yeah. Gotcha. So it matches really really well, but. Yeah, these are the cream ain't bad. Yeah. It doesn't give it the pop that I want personally. Sure. I need more pop, but yeah. uh, it's not bad. Yeah. It honestly, it looked better in that dude's photo. It did, and he had thinner laces. I don't maybe, know what it was. Maybe that's what it was too. I, maybe I do need to throw a, uh, if I get some time today. I got a bunch of running around to do after the show, but if I get some time today, I'm gonna try to throw those in, and maybe I'll send you a picture and see if they're Dope. see if they are Dope. thinner. But I think they're more tan. Yeah. I think they're a little bit hmm. Danny Tanner. I wonder if they'll work. Than those ones. So the other thing I brought, actually, and, and it's not to uh, toot my own horn or anything, I got hit up a lot, man, uh, this last cast or the or the cast before, uh, about my brand, you know, and I discussed it, you know, in the oh, YouTube yeah, comments yeah, yeah. the last cast. Yep. Dude, I got I got a bunch of DMs asking, hey, man, can I maybe buy a shirt? Or, hey, can you talk more about your shirts? Or can you send me pics of your old shirts? Wow. And because I said, last cast in the comments, I said, you know, I still have quite a few left over or whatever that I'm just kind of sitting on. So I brought a couple of my... Uh, uh, my favorite designs yeah, just yeah, real yeah. quick, just to kind of show. And if, you know, if you guys really want them, wow. I mean, let me know. I mean, I've got a couple extra, but, uh, um, yeah, man, it was just, again, it was just kind of a hobby thing that me and a buddy or two buddies did. And then one kind of fell off, but, uh, man, just, just an outlet, a creative outlet. Right. And, and I think they're pretty good. I mean, I know you've got a couple of our things, yep. right. You know, beanies, beanies and shirts, yep. maybe shirts. Yep. So yeah, I brought kind of my uh, favorite two designs. So, uh, we'll show a few of these. And then uh, we can move on to uh, JJ's, yeah, the JJ's shoes the packages, and, and, the, yeah. and the packages. So here, here they are. Yeah, let me see. The uh, deep in it has been it's been deceased for what a year or two now. 
Uh, two years, probably two years yeah. now. Yeah. So this is the first one. So, you know, very, very thin shirts. So we do the 50, 50, 50 or 50, 25 and 25 when it comes to cotton poly blends, rayon, very, very thin shirts. Yep. I do not like heavy shirts. I'm kind of a, sh- a shirt snob. That's why I don't buy very many Supreme shirts because yeah. they suck. You know what I mean? So quality, very good, very lightweight. This one's one of my favorite ones. So obviously we, uh, we were big into like the extreme sports realm. So, you know, you're skiing, you're snowboarding, blading skating that kind of stuff so coexist is a very big well-known thing right you see that on the bumper stickers so we chose the purple shirt that kind of mirrors like the coexist bumper sticker and we actually put coexist on the shirt that shirt looks blue to me Dal. no it's what do you think no it's 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 a combination i thought it was my glasses like You've had the glasses on too long. I think so. But oh, it's a fine. little bit more purple than blue for sure. Okay. So we actually have the coexist on there and it's made out of things that have to do with the ski and snowboard nice. industry, which is cool. So, right, you got the Colorado Sea, the snowflake for your O, and then you've got snowboarders and skiers actually doing the, the actual tricks to make up your letters yeah. within coexist, which I think is pretty sweet, man. Dope. But that's one of the shirts. Kind okay. Of fire. With the deep in it, with the little deep, yeah, in, it, the deep uh, in it logo yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, and if you see kind of our logo... What it was was um, the word deep in it, and the I in the the first I in deep in it, uh, deep in it was uh, kind of the thinking man. Yeah, you know, because it's like, hey, what's my next step? What's my what what's my favorite thing about my hobbies? What you know? What do I want to do? You know, what's my passions? So it kind of relates. I thought kind of a cool concept, but that's one of my favorite shirts. I'll show it to JJ here so he can see it at the end of the table as well. What's the next one up? Oh yeah, yeah, I have this one for sure. The next one is is fire. Well, I as did. Well. I think it got smoked in the fire. Speaking of fire, ah, could have been. So right. we know that Colorado, right? Everybody buys a lot of Colorado stuff when they come in, right? Yeah. We we yeah. love that logo. So Denver actually has their own flag. So this is the Denver flag. So we thought it'd be cool to get away from the Colorado flag that is always used, almost overused. This is the actual flag that you actually see on the street signs in downtown Denver, which is kind of fire. Um, So what we did was we used that and then we kind of put our logo down there uh, at the bottom just as brand representation, Colorado, local, you know, mountains. Again, that ski and snowboard industry. So this is a really, really fire shirt, man. I'm really happy with this one. Uh, The downfall to this is the screen print is kind of heavy it is so when you're actually wearing it like if you don't wear a shirt underneath your shirt you can get a little bit of heat uh you know underneath it can kind of get a little hot you know i don't really have that issue yeah was talking about the same thing he had a shirt that had uh he got a certified he had like some samples made with uh, stitching on it they were embroidered right and he's like dude i can't wear the thing because it's just it's like hurting my nipples like throughout the day it's just rubbing on me and i was like really i don't notice that at all and i think it's the chest hair so that's something i didn't notice with this either i have Uh, a ton of chest hair so it's like you got the chest hair that that pushes it out that protective (laughs) barrier this shit ain't touching the skin you know what i mean i need that you got to get that chest hair i need that (laughs) it's fire i gotta drink more coffee it's fire when you get to the uh it's at the beach bro yeah once no you doubt. get to the beach you just bust out the chess hair at the gold <laughs> chain sick are you guy are you guys <laughs> with at the that beach speedo with the speedo as well no no no, no, gold speedo. <laughs> no you leave your gold chains on Not going no. full European? i might i might go bore out for halloween one year i might throw on the the little lim, lime green joint with the chess hair i would not hang out with get you the little, you'd be, <laughs> yeah you'd be fine not that day eh, you'd be all right <laughs> not that day yeah, pretty sure you'd hang <laughs> <laughs> i would i would the go to a beer, hammock i would go to a beer pong tourney with you i'm pretty sure you'd be gone i'm pretty sure you'd be on the most underrated it's IG live with that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'd be. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. You'd be filming live. Yeah, it'd be great. You'd be watching all the hearts going berserk, <laughs> berserk on oh. that thing. Oh, that's too much, man. Gotta oh. love it. Oh. Gotta love it. That My face hurts. Scarring. Hey, what's the upset alert? Is it half? Uh, it's halftime right now. Oh, yeah. 38-33. Minnesota's up on the Ville. A ten over wow. a seven. I I uh, fully expect Louisville to come back and take this over in the second half for sure. And um, put uh, Minnesota where they where they belong. It's go time. in the toilets. It's go time, not go for time. Sure. <laughs> yeah. What up? Oh, I was just saying put them in their place. Oh, on that yeah. note, hand me that stuff over there. What yeah. do you, what do you, uh, let's go. Do you want to go, what do you want to do? Sneakers first? Or do you want to do the packages first? I don't care. JJ, so. it's your show. I mean, to run the show. Do what you want. Man. Yeah. I mean, it's. We'll start from the top down. Okay. From the top down? Yep. Mm. All right, here we hey, go. I'm kind of liking this coffee. Are you really? Can I get JJ to Let's warm? Go. Can I get JJ to warm it up a little bit or something? Who who can we get? We need uh, some assistance. Yeah, in JJ, here. just go. Th- oh no, you want it? He wants a beer for the packages, probably. Yeah, we need a yeah. beer. I'll, um, ju- I'll just drink it cold. It's fine. No, I'll just. Uh, hey, Ramon. I'm just playing. <laughs> One of the tattoo artists. Here. <laughs> He's like drawing and shit, trying yeah. to prep his designs for the day. I'm like, hey, you want to heat up the coffee, bro? <laughs> uh, all right, so let's start out here. We got a little letter. Again, this came from. Uh, 
Brian, the Philly plug. Man. Appreciate you, man, reaching out. He, wow. He messes with us heavy. This I like, is... Hey, Brian, shout outs to you, man. But even before all this shit, man, we appreciate the love, man. He is always tagging us in Twitter, just just always keeping us on our game, man. Thanks. In articles and Dude, all kinds of stuff. Absolutely. And I apologize, dog. I did not get a chance to read that uh college article that you sent us the other day you told us to read it before oh, the cast yeah. i just didn't get a chance dude i was doing brackets after on um, brackets on brackets i totally. mean it was it was boom no, no. <laughs> rack city bitch boom no, no. you know if i would have had rack city queued up but yeah. i did have rack city queued yeah, up at one point I was remember that <laughs> whoa yeah anyway <laughs> <laughs> oh <my laughs> anyways uh it starts out what is going down family First, shout out to all three of you guys for all the hard work you've put in on the cast. From the bromance that started with sneaker reviews with Franchise and Dow Pal, mm -hmm. the relationship that seemed real, that's why people kept wanting more. Then comes this podcast, and I'm not going to lie. At first, I was a little skeptical about it, but I knew if anyone could do a podcast right, it would be the guy who was runner-up in the Denver Sports Talk radio competition. Mm -hmm. with, uh, with the lead from Franchise and his partner in crime, Dow, I, unlike the guy in the last cast, know how to give things a shot and prioritize my day. Episode one. Uh, oh, sorry. Episode one started and we had, a, we had two of our favorite stooges on camera. And little did we know, we had Curly and the unknown man behind the camera, Stringstein. Google the three stooges. <laughs> and he wants a shot for you. Actually, he didn't even say a shot. I just gave you a shot. Sorry, nice. JJ. Uh, <laughs> once the trio happened, I felt it only made the show better. I look forward to each cast and interacting with the show in the comments. Prior to the cast, I have never left a YouTube uh, left a YouTube comment. Now I even take notes on my phone, so at the end of the cast, I can comment with something that gives substance to the show. Unlike that fool Brady last week who rides the coattails. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that shit, man. Like mm -hmm. you said, we're, uh, we're trying to get better. Any of that shit, any positive or any. Uh, any constructive criticism in the comments, anything that's uh, said with some substance, something that we can get better from, I'm always a fan of. So thank you for that. Thank you for listening to that. Thank you for taking that into account because yep. we're only trying to get better here, man. We ain't trying to take steps back. So uh, we're only trying to get better and have the show grow. He continues along. That being said, since you guys treat us with uh, to such great content each week and the Patreon isn't up yet, I sent you full some items. TTF, I know you wanted that Supreme tray, but for what you wanted to use it for, it wouldn't have been a great item. The Supreme Supreme tray is a tiny bit bigger than a box logo. This is, the, uh, this is for you to roll up and enjoy some nice ones with a nod to Colorado. Should I open that shit first? Yeah. I guess no. Which one? This one? The bottom one? The bottom one. All right. So we'll open that. I'll open that before I continue along uh, here, here, reading here. Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah, that'd be cool. So uh, as you're as you're continually, you read so well. Yeah, you there know, you go. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Keep uh, it going. Sometimes man. I stumble. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Um, you sound like Macy Gray. Time oh, to stumble. Damn it. <laughs> I try to say goodbye and I joke. Hey, try to walk away and, and I stumble. stumble. And though I try to hide it, it's, it's clear. clear my world crumbles when you are not near. Yeah. I had to take a shot for singing that whole thing. I don't even know how to know that. Uh, actually, funny story while you're opening that, because I want to open this before I continue to yours. Um, I actually saw Macy Gray live, in not in concert. I saw her perform one song, and it was in New York City at the Rosie O'Donnell Show. I went what? to a taping of the Rosie O'Donnell Show in 2001, October 2001. It was October 13th, 2001, almost directly a month after the planes hit the towers on 9-11. Oh, I flew wow. to New York. We had already had it planned. My aunt and I, she was a huge Rosie O'Donnell fan. She was, um, my aunt's been a trainer for the DU uh, men's and women's basketball team here in Denver. She's been an athletic trainer. Now she's a hand therapist. She's super athlete, uh, athletic, very into sports. And she loved Rosie O'Donnell from the A League of Our Own Days to just all the shit she did in the 90s. Uh, she just loved Rosie. So Rosie used to have a talk show. This was the last year of Rosie's talk show. My aunt writ had written in for tickets probably in 97. Finally, she got a thing back saying, hey, this is pre-internet before the internet was really starting to get popping. Um, we, had, she, I think she finally got an email back like a couple of years later that said, hey, you've been selected. This is the date. And so how it works, when you get it, when you get an opportunity to go to these talk shows, Jimmy Fallon, Jay Leno, Rosie O'Donnell, whatever it is, they select you ahead of time. And if you can't make the show, that's it. There's no exchanging the tickets. There's no getting different tickets. Well, at least that's how it was at that time when it was snail mail. You were mailing shit in. So she, she got selected for these tickets. It was October 2001, October 13th, whatever. Uh, so we flew out to New York. The month after the towers hit, we, we were no way going to cancel our trip. We got family over there in New Jersey. We went out there, visit some family. Uh, I thought 
it was probably the safest time to fly as well as my family because it was a month after 9 11 you totally. know what i mean security was at its, right at its primo i was still uh heavy into the ro- skating and the rollerblades so i had my blade strapped into my backpack i was ready to whip some fools in the face if anyone started some crazy shit i was probably oh. 13 years old at the time so <laughs> but uh no man it was cool we went to we went to um new york city went to the rosie o'donnell show and it was dope. Macy Gray was the musical guest that day. Wow. And uh, it was her second album. Yeah. It was after she had had that big hit that we just sung here, Bet. unfortunately for you guys. Mm-hmm. And uh, she performed a song that I have no idea what it was. I don't remember it. It was terrible. I got the free CD that came. Yeah. She, you know, um, was it, it was, un- un- yeah. under your seat? I mean, it was all awful. <laughs> and yeah, it was under the seat. Under exactly. The seat. That's what they did. So we had the, the guests were Macy Gray, the founder of Blues Clues. Oh, really? So we got this dope ass limited edition Blues Clues dog that was pretty sick. Mm. Um, it was like a children's toy, but it was a, a limited thing for the Blues Clues anniversary or whatever. Yeah. And then Steve Zahn, dude from Saving Silverman. Oh, really? Uh, he was on there promoting a, a movie with Drew Barrymore called Riding in Cars with Boys. Do you remember that movie? I do. But I but I remember Saving Silverman way better. Yeah, right. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Dude, we need to get some drops from Saving Silverman. Totally. That's no oh, Saving Silverman's yeah. fire. Um, so yeah, man, that's how I that's how I saw Macy Gray. Great one, story. One and only time in New York, Rosie O'Donnell show. What the coolest part about the whole thing? Screw Rosie, screw Macy Gray, any all the whole thing. The sickest part about the whole thing was her studio. I think is where Jimmy Fallon is right now, or uh, maybe Seth Meyers is right now. But it was right across the hall from the SNL studios, yeah. dude. So as you're walking down the hallway, you you're up top and you can look to the left and see Saturday Night Live, dude, and see the whole set and see the whole studio. Studio. And that's just something I'll never, I'll never forget. You know, being such an SNL fan, going to New York, walking down that hallway, looking to the left, and seeing the SNL uh, set up and the audience, um, the chairs where everyone sits. It was so damn cool. And then we took a right and went away from that. <laughs> <laughs> it went into the Rosie Studio. But anyway, it was dope. I think All right. they, they call it Thirty Rock. Don't yes, they? Yes, yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah that's Rock. that's the whole building. So there's yeah. a ton of yeah, the whole building throughout there. Show about it. Yeah. yeah, that's where they all are. Yeah, Robin and I went and visited that this last time we were in gotcha. New York. Those were super dope. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, so now we're going to open the gift here. We got it open. Yeah, Sorry, it took my me story. forever. <laughs> my story kind of went a little long. You didn't even, oh my goodness, you even cut the bottoms off, Dal? Oh, uh, well, because you could slide it out the other way. Oh, oh, slide it out. Yeah. I forgot. You're a collector. You yeah. do the, I, I ruin stuff. You yeah. open stuff nicely. Yeah. Like a parent so for a kid. On Try Christmas to. Day, you just slightly open wow. it up to save the wrapping paper. Yeah. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, this thing shit. is, this is super, super sick. <laughs> Look at this thing. What is that like the it's almost like the garbage pail kids. Dude, but but that South is Park. The best it's like rolling South tray Park, I've ever seen. South Park garbage pail kids is what it reminds me of. Dude. I don't even know what to say. That's what I was just gonna say. I don't know anything about cartoons. Yeah. So I don't know You haven't seen South Park? I've seen South Park, okay. but I've uh, like a little bit here and there. Uh, but I don't know a ton about it. So I couldn't tell you like, is this guy Cartman right here? Uh, yep. Uh, yep. That's Kurt. Fat guy sitting yep. down the corner. That's Stan. That's Stan. Okay. Kenny. Kenny. Okay. He. Died. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle Bravlosky. And uh, what about the what about the the teacher? Oh, what's the oh teacher? come on, guys! I knew all this stuff. I'm just giving. I'm quizzing you guys. Hold on. Really? Hold on. No, I didn't know any of this. Okay. But I, I've seen South Park here and there, but I'm I've never like I haven't consumed Garrison. a whole season or anything it's not like Garrison, that. Garrison, is it, Mr. Garrison? It's yeah, dude. I think it is. Is it Mr. Garrison? Yeah, this is so sick. So sure. it's a South Park for anyone not watching on YouTube. It's a South Park rolling tray, and uh, it's got <laughs> they're in a classroom, and it's got all this dope math. Yep, Mr. Garrison, <laughs> Mr. Okay. Garrison, yeah, Mr. Garrison. It's got all this math on the board behind them, and it all equates up to. Uh, uh, four, so it says 710 plus 420 and it has lit underneath. <laughs> it equals lit. Nice. And it looks like Cartman's got the chalk and he's got a joint and he's kind of, it kind of gives me that old school Bart Simpson vibes when he's writing on the chalkboard. Oh, yeah. You know, I bit. will not get in trouble or whatever. No, I will not do this. And yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Super, oh, super the, dope. And then it says, look, one gram, yeah. 10 bucks, yeah. one eighth, 40. One ounce, 250. <laughs> There's a lot to consume on the tray. You almost have to sit here and look at it. There's all kinds of different little uh, things that are written on it. Uh, and everyone's oh, I didn't even see Towley at the bottom. Oh, he's laying dang. down all stoned. Yeah, <laughs> that's, hey, that's so awesome. Hey guys, <laughs> hey you wanna get high? <laughs> wanna get high? <laughs> Towley is laying down there, smoked out. This is super sick. Dang, where's Mister Hanky the Christmas poo? <laughs> <laughs> I need some Mister Hanky in my life. This is so fire, dog. Thank you so much, man. This is uh, that's so much better than the Supreme one. This oh is gosh. super ill. Dude, it's like custom. You can't find that just anywhere. Right. You can't go buy that off of, maybe you can buy it off StockX, but probably not. No. That's fire. Dude. I like it. I like it a lot. Dude, Thank I you, I bro. don't even smoke weed, man, but maybe I'll come over. Yeah. And watch you smoke weed. No, actually, we, we <laughs> yeah. talked about that. Uh, speaking of that, what do you guys think of doing a show, bringing in some um, bringing in some people? I got a, I got a homie that has a uh, hydroponics company here, mm-hmm. and 
I met him at this thing called the Landmark Forum, which is a thing that uh, it's kind of like a self-help or just kind of um, to help you just be better, man, be a better person and be more of an authentic person with people in your life. And uh, this thing really, really did wonders for me. And I met this guy in there and he has a hydroponics company and he's he's young, he's under 30. I think he's um, probably a multimillionaire and the dude is just bright. And uh, I was really impressed with his story, really impressed with what he does. So I was thinking about bringing him in as a guest one time. And I also wanted to bring in maybe some people that are in the weed industry here in Colorado. Yeah, we could even maybe even bring in Ted. Shit, Ted knows a ton about weed. And hey, I want to have him bring in a couple strains and all of us smoke a couple, a little bit of weed in here and do a show, Dow. Do a little bit of a cast. Ooh. What do you think about that? I'd be whether I'd, it's Ted yeah, or whether yeah. it's someone yeah. from the weed industry. Uh, what do you think about that? We try a couple different things. We we I'd, I'd do it for the cast. I might be a one hitter quitter. I might just pass out. I might just start pacing. That's fine. We'll just have, we'll lay down we'll lay down towelie in the corner. We'll just have you nap <laughs> it off. Do we do we have a rotisserie? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can I rotisserie myself around a heater in here? We we do, we have a, a fan. We don't we have, have a heater though. We can bring in a portable heater though, and you can start rotisserie in yourself. Hey, <laughs> I I do it for the cast. I'm I'm all right. So if you guys want to see that, man, I think that'd be, uh, that'd I think be both would be cool. Hell. I think, um, talking about the hydroponics and the weed industry here in Denver would be cool with, uh, that gentleman Kemsley. And then also maybe going into, uh, smoking some different strains or different types of weed. Um, I think that'd be a cool conversation as well. And just learning, learning some things about different kinds of cannabis here. Cause I smoke weed, but I'm not really the biggest, uh, like connoisseur. I don't know a ton about it. I don't know a ton b- of differences between a ton of different strains. I'm pretty new in the game too. I'm not Mr. Uh, I haven't been Mr. Weed for years. This is something that I picked up pretty recently. So, uh, let's see. Okay. So, oh, he also finishes along. I also got something else coming to celebrate 316 day that just passed, but that doesn't ship for two weeks. Ask Dow. It's fire, but it's a surprise. That's dope. So he's got something else shipping to us and I for 316 day? I want to let you guys know. Oh, yeah. He told you what it was. Oh, yeah. What? I want to let the audience know this man who literally worships uh, cold. Uh, Stone cold. <laughs> Stone cold. My bad. <laughs> who worships cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, JJ. At the end of the day, we got your back. He missed the day loser. completely. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, 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 I know. I sent you. I sent you happy. So I, know. I, I said happy three sixteen day, dude. I know a, a bunch of people did, and I was like, I looked down. I'm like, why do I not have my Stone Cold Steve Austin jacket on? Why am I not? Uh, I should. We should have done. Oh, we didn't even have a cast that day, huh? No. I was gonna no. say if we had a cast that day, I'd probably do the whole thing in this voice. Actually, I was thinking about doing the comments. Anytime we get negative comments, I should just—I was thinking about doing the Stone Cold voice or doing a different, a different kind of voice. You whenever you do the Stone Cold, that was hilarious. Whenever we, yeah, it. whenever we get bad comments, I'll just be—I'll just be uh, reading the comments. You know what? This podcast has to be good. Something has to be good to be underrated. This podcast is a piece of trash, and I'm not going to say it again. That's the bottom line. You know, just something like that. Just a little Stone Cold for you guys. Uh, but uh, anyway, he continues along. JJ Stringstein, your item speaks for itself. What does that mean? I don't know. It's in the bag right there. Oh, this is yours? Yeah. Okay. Dow, your gift was lost by FedEx, but is being sent out again by the store. Let's just say you had that mullet and it's going, uh, let's just say that, sorry, let's just say you, that mullet is going to go great with the item I got you. Let's just say the mullet is going to go great with the item I got you. Nope. To be continued, I think, is uh, is how it was supposed to go there. So, Dal, I'm sorry your shit got lost by FedEx. All good. All good. But uh, that's just how it goes. There's nothing else we can do. <laughs> Stringstein? You want to open Stringstein's? Oh, uh, Stringstein can open it. Uh, Stringstein? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't, he's, he's free over there. He's not a collector. He's huh? free 91, yeah. He's not a collector. He, he doesn't, doesn't care. He doesn't need to do it crazy. I'm sorry, uh, sorry Dal. You're... Actually, that's a shot for FedEx. Losing your item? But they're resending it out. Hopefully, you don't have to do that, Brian. Hopefully, you're not having to deal with that. That's ridiculous. What is it? Stringstein. What? What's oh going on? Give gosh. us the reaction. Hey. There's people not watching on YouTube, and this isn't a radio show, so you gotta you gotta describe things here. Yeah, JJ, I'm trying to I'm trying to party here. Oh, I got? can't even see it, so I can't describe it. You're over here. Obviously, you basically got it okay. keyed up your butt. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> Pull obvi- it out. Jeez. Okay. It's obviously a white t shirt. Oh, no way. You bang in your white tee? Slang in your white tee? Mm. All in the club, spit game in your white tee? All right, uh, <laughs> I don't see it. Hold up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whoa, oh. yeah. Dude, it is a Keanu Reeves. Oh, my God. That's awesome. A T-shirt with a young Keanu Reeves on it, and it says, Whoa. Whoa. Just like that. Or maybe it's like this. Whoa. That is fire. JJ, if you do not wear that in. Oh, dude, you got to put that on for the thumbnail. That is too sick. <laughs> You gotta oh be. We gotta have someone take the thumbnail now, and you've got to put that on for the thumbnail. That is too dope. That is shaggy too dope. No ICP. All right, let's do it. That is ill. 
Oh man, you got I dude. It. You got to wear that every day for on the cast. No. That's that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. I yeah. will wear it for next cast. Oh, yeah. but that is great, dude. Brian the Philly plug My coming through. Shout out, dog. Thank you for the the letter, man. All the kind words, and uh, thank you for the gifts, dude. Mm-hmm. Super, super sick. Uh, I'm really, really excited to put this on the coffee table and use this yeah. at the crib. Yeah, and um, I'm excited to see it on your table when I come to the crib. Yes, yeah. Dow. I'm excited to see your gift. Yeah, for sure. What we got coming in. Well, that hopefully, sucks FedEx lost it. Dude, that's the worst. Hey, the mullet's getting better every day. So by the time it comes in, you know, should be good to go. <laughs> there we go, baby. Dow. Your gift was lost by FedEx and is being sent out by the store. I wonder if that means it's going to be uh, if they paid for it. I wonder if you had insurance on it. Hopefully, it wasn't something crazy like expensive yeah, or hard to replace. Like imagine this being lost or something. That would suck. Dude. Yeah, with no How'd insurance you on it. That? What is it? Uh, yeah, I mean, we should have told you. We should have been. Uh, I should have been better uh, better on the weather up in here and let you know. Hey, there's a blizzard coming through. If you guys are sending stuff, wait a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, just, no doubt. Because dude, we've had a couple people like, yo, we sent some stuff, but it's like lost. Dude, it took it took my so my rack just came in finally yesterday, dude. Um, I ordered that almost two weeks before the bomb cyclone. Shit. That's how that's dude. That's, that's how infected, <laughs> right? You know, uh, FedEx and USPS and U, UPS got you know with that whole bomb cyclone. So Brian the Philly plug, man. We look really at this on the bottom you. of the letter. He included our logo down there. That's dope. And then he's got like a dope your friend Brian the Philly plug. That's and it, tight. It's tight. He's got. Your friend Brian the Philly, and then he's got a little plug graphic you got down it. there. Super ill, dope letter. Thank you, Brian, man. We uh we appreciate you, dog. Mm-hmm. Good to have you as part of the show. Uh, I know we did not get to meet when I was out in Philly. We couldn't coordinate, but uh, I definitely look forward to meeting you one day, brother. Whether you're over here in uh, the Mile High or we're out on the East Coast, I know we'll cross paths oh, one day, dog. Yeah. So and I appreciate. Speaking you. of, go ahead. A update on Sneaker Con. Oh, what we you have a booth. Oh, do give me the booth. Yeah, give me we the booth. Are a vendor. There we go. All right. Thanks to the re-up. They Shout got, out to the re-up. Got some booths, so we got one on SneakerCon. So cool. If you guys are wanting to visit or meet us, or I don't know what we have planned. Are you, JR are loves we the shots. to do a podcast at SneakerCon? I think we, we could do a cast, or we might just uh, you know we might just get a hold of some people now. Um, I know I, I reached out to Ted to kind of see uh, the the old booth guy, yep. see if he was going to come through, and he said he probably wouldn't. He, he doesn't mess with SneakerCon as much, but uh, he might come through and say what's up. But uh, I think we should probably now network and get a hold of some people. It might be cool to kind of do some interviews. Uh, I've never been to a SneakerCon. Yeah. I've never traveled outside of Colorado to go to a SneakerCon, and this is the first one we've ever had in Denver. So. Yeah. Uh, I have not been a part of it. Uh, there, are, I know there are people that really mess with SneakerCon. I know there's people that don't mess with SneakerCon at all. Whether they have their reasons, they don't get along with management, ownership, they don't like the event, whatever the case may sure. be. For me personally, I need to go get my own experience. Yeah. I can't take other people's experience yeah. and uh, say it's great or it's not great. I need to go get my own. Especially when it's in our it backyard. Out. Right, okay. exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. I think uh, I think we should do... What is that? That's on a Saturday. So what we would do, it would just kind of be an extra show, maybe just a little uh, special sneaker con edition. Yeah. I think we maybe um, do something like that. Something like that. Just sit down with a few different people. We'll probably sit down with JR from the re-up. Yeah. See what they got uh, going over there, what they're selling. And then um, we can talk to a few other people, man. Yeah. I think Maybe get two J's come by. Maybe Seth Fowler. Yeah. A few of the other ones, you know, that, w- that we mess, w- mess with. And maybe I can air out some stuff with Kais. JJ, you're going <laughs> to need, we're going to need to set this up. You're going to need charge of, like wrangling. You're going to have to like yo get these people like we're gonna have to line up time slots so people i don't want people especially a guy like two jays i don't want him, i want him to just be able to step on and come on the show and talk and be done mm-hmm. i don't want to have them waiting and shit so we're gonna have to coordinate that out sure we got a lot of stuff to work out when i go to vegas we're gonna try to do a show there i'm gonna be there next week so technically we yeah. would miss the friday show uh i'm still gonna try to record it on thursday we need to go look and see about getting a usb mic Dope. maybe we can do that on sunday yeah uh go get a usb mic maybe I'm test free. some stuff out uh oh dang dude i can't i'm booked ah. up Dang, it's my first Sunday not working. I've worked the last two. I never work Sundays. <laughs> I might be able to do in the morning, but uh, cool. we'll touch base on that. We got we got to get this stuff worked out. Well, I might just take that red eye flight. That's when, you know. Oh that, yeah. Again, <laughs> that's just ammo <laughs> for Robin. Right. Hey, Robin. By the way, uh, I have to. <laughs> I got to fly to Vegas to do the cast. Okay, we can't miss. <laughs> And and by the way, because remember, <laughs> I've got a trip coming up to yeah. Florida that I that I talked to you. When about. is that? What's the date? Uh, third through the eighth. So it's literally the week after I get back. Yeah. Oh, so dude, we got we, some ironing to do. You down to go to Florida? We got some starching to do. Oh, we got we got a starch madness. Oh man, Brian the Philly plug <laughs> and Jay Nasty and Goldeneye are depending on us Our, to get uh, these casts out to the audience. <laughs> okay, where are you guys going in Florida? Uh, we're going to Orlando. 
because obviously mm. we're doing the whole Disney World extravaganza, Epcot, wow, you know, all that stuff. Just you two? Uh, Mueller is going to join us, dude. You two and Mueller? Yeah, Mueller, because Mueller lived in Florida. That's where he's from. So he's going to go oh, visit some gotcha. of his homies, dope, dope, and then dope. he's going to link up with us at some point. That'll be cool. It's not like third wheel all the time. He's yeah. going back to his old home, that kind of thing. So he was from Tampa. He's going home. Going I'm home. going home. He's going Daughtry. I'm going yeah. home. That's cool. There's there's a lot of songs about hey, home. Hey, what's upset alert? What do we got? Uh, I don't know. It's a replay right now. JJ, hand me the other shoes. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, what do you jump got into it? those. Shout out to uh, shout out again to Brian. Brian. Love it. All right, let's go into uh, what do we have? What, what are these? Take a look. You brought these over. Orange box. The uh, That can only mean one thing. Nikes. Ooh, there they are. Uh, look at that. In the flesh. Size 12. Sick. These are gifted? Gifted Fire. from the re-up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was like, I was saying, like uh. I'm going to hit up JR. <laughs> oh. How about new? Hey, I heard these run a little small. Oh, that's what I was I've, just going to say. That's what I've been hearing. Oh, hmm. damn. Yeah. So Good do we to need know. to test it out? Good do I need to, to put my foot in there? I think you should put your foot in there. Uh, we should just say, gently. JR, sorry. Uh, don't, let sorry. It, don't let it touch the ground. <laughs> JJ, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> JJ, am I going to get you in trouble? Possibly. <laughs> if I put my foot in these? <laughs> yes. To test out the sizing? Mm. Yes. So we, we shouldn't do it for the cast, is what you're saying. Yes. We don't. Need, we, should, we should just let the cast tr try to figure out your own sizing oh, if you want God. these. We're here not to help you guys. Uh, Good luck, cast. Is that what we're supposed to tell okay. the audience right now? I never what really got permission to wear these shoes. JJ, that sounds like a you problem. Damn it, I tried to hit a sign. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, all waiting. Uh, um, what do you think? Initial impressions? I don't know. It still looks like a... I, I'm not a... I'm, I'm really not a burnt orange guy. Yeah, I call it the vomit colorway. I don't know, man. Just, it looks... The 3M, the 3M makes them more dope sure. to me, but it still doesn't make them like a must cop for me. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Uh, let's Initial see. Initial impressions. You Not know, in love, but don't hate them. I'm like in the middle. I'm like in a weird middle ground, which for the price that they're going for right now, which is nothing. Yeah, pretty damn uh, close to that's retail. A good, that's a good place to cop. If you're, if you're kind of like me in a weird middle ground, this might be one you spring on. You know what I like? The, the, out, or the midsole, excuse me. Um, you know, with all those speckles and whatnot. So we've had so much dirty snow here, right? Yes. So you know what the outsole or, Dude, or the midsole? Of that same thing, Dude, it bro. looks like I've been walking through the snow that has so much of the salt to yep. melt the ice. It looks like the bottom of my car <laughs> after I drive. It does. Like the, the lower door yeah. right right behind my tire. Exactly. It's, it's spit up a bunch of that Dude. road salt on the outsole. It's and, exactly and, what it looks and it's like. Not Great even call. like. And it's not even and it's textured just like it would be if it was really salt. Wild, bro. That's incredible. I mean, I, I still like it, but like I feel like this could be my winter shoe. I get the salt vibes from this. This could be my winter this shoe. This gives me salt vibes. Dude, feel the, feel, winter salt feel vibes. the upper. Like I feel like that shit is water resistant. It does feel like that. This could be my winter this shoe. This could be your winter stomper. I think you need to put this on. <laughs> <laughs> Look J at JJ over JJ's there. getting stressed out. I'm Guys, I am never bringing shoes JJ, ever again to the podcast. You know Dow Palantonio stays with sneaker wipes on them. We can just wipe the bottom off. And then I can make sure there's no sock lint on the inside. How's he ever going to know? Does JR watch the cast? Yes. Oh, okay. Hey, you know <laughs> what? Just buy it then. Who cares? If JR's got a problem with it, buy it. It's not that much of a resale, is it? No. Well, but you don't know what he has it on. Yeah. He doesn't, you don't know if because his this consigner. Is consignment. Uh, yeah, this could be someone else's shoe. That's yeah. where I feel a little bad. Yeah, you may not want to. Yeah. I feel kind of bad. JJ, I appreciate the looks, though. Letting us look at it. Yeah, um, no it still looks like kind of the vomit shoe. I like the, the salt and ice shoe. Well, um, take your phone. Turn on the flash. Take a look. It's in a book. A it's reading, reading rainbow. rainbow. Yep. Oh I can't God. see anything. You know that one, JJ? No. Shocking. I need to get a... How is this yeah. ever shocking? I need to rate. get a, a shocking soundbite. Shocker. Shocker. Shocking. Oh, upset alert. We're looking 50 to 38. 12 points up. Minnesota, 15 minutes to go. Second half just underway. Barely five minutes deep. Obviously, you already know all this info. But, is your uh, bracket already jacked then? No, no. I'll be good. Oh, those look... So there's the shot. Why can't they be like that normally? I know. Those Why can't dope. they just be 3M all the time? Right. Because that doesn't look like the vomit shoe. You should shoe. totally airdrop me that photo so yeah. I could put it on the cast. Yeah, that's a great That's a great photo. JJ, you know what? Here, just take my phone. You do whatever you like. Uh, get us lit. Okay? Get us lit on the most underrated IG right now. Whatever you'd like to do. I also want to mention we did get a new, uh, a new headphone box. Yeah. So we're not having any static issues. If you guys heard static issues last cast, that yep. was it. That was yep. the last one. We got our new headphone box in. 
This shit should be uh, super clean audio for you now. Dude, these factory orange laces, dog shit. Yeah, you awful. Gotta, dude, you got to throw in the... I'm, I'm not a burnt orange guy, though. You got to throw in these... Yeah. You got to throw in these three in And I realize that's what Mars is, that burnt orange yeah. color, but uh, I don't know. I'm just not a big burnt orange guy. I'm not a University of Texas fan. I'm not... Uh, yeah, not a, not a burnt orange. I'm a maize, maize oh, and blue kind of guy. Maze, maze, cool. Well, I, I like them. I, you know, I think, I think they're they will continue to go down, and then I think there'll be an upswing eventually. But uh, nowhere near the moon landing. No. Right? Do you think that's a result of this pair? People just not liking the pair as much, or there not being as many pairs. That's one. There are so many more pairs with these Mars landing. Or, yeah, that's from what, what I hear, too many there pairs. are so many more pairs. Yeah. JJ makes sense. What's this big old box here? Oh wow! Oh, are those? Right, the, he's got a. Uh, he's got a huge. It's like a square. Uh, yeah. It looks like a, like a, one of those things above Mario's head. <laughs> yeah. The, one of those bricks. <laughs> nice. Not the same colorway. No, but, no, yeah. no. It's black. It's got two royal blue dots on it, and it's got some fading royal blue paint throughout the box. Yeah. Do you guys know what they are? I have no are? clue what they are. I, I, I know what they are. I do. Um, are they my size? What size are they? Ten and a half. That's oh. perfect. I need to put my I need to put my foot in this. <laughs> I might come. I will up. buy these. Them. These definitely. Let me let me put my foot in these. These for sure. definitely no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to have my phone near this. Dude, I'm ready to download the app. Let me put my foot in this shoe. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a clean sock on. Dude, I haven't sweat an ounce of anything today. I'm on coffee. I need my feet in that shoe. He's feeling it. Uh, He's feeling you it. You got 600 bucks. You know what shoe this is, right? I have no idea. Oh, uh, this is this is the most hated shoe from the franchise this year. I Let's oh, open it. Me, it is, huh? Move your uh, inertias and open this shit up. Mm-hmm. All right. Here you go. I'll let you open it, Dal. Actually, Yeah, actually I'm going to I'm going to let you open it cuz you know I'm not a I'm not a big fan. Oh, I'm not a big fan and I'm not careful enough. I'm very rough on things. You better keep these away from me cuz I'm trying to put my foot in it. I'm very rough on things. Open these up. So, oh my gosh! <laughs> I, I can't with headphones. There's too much <laughs> shit over here. JJ, JJ, come open them up for us. All right, JJ's at the front of the table here. He's sliding the box open. Let me get my drink out. JJ, what'd you have to do to get these, man? Did you have to leave some DNA? Did you have to leave some plasma with Jr? No, he literally just let me walk out with the box. So, <laughs> all right. wow! Shouts to Jr. Nice. He must trust the stringer. All right, JJ's opening the box. He's taking his I've time. I've been homies with him for a couple years now, so he, me and him have a good relationship. So, All right. And here's the big reveal, folks. <laughs> <laughs> nice, JJ. <laughs> Did you record that? I <laughs> like that. Bi- we need that sound. <laughs> I like that. Here's we the gotta get big that a drop. reveal, guys. And here's the big reveal, folks. That's all, all right. folks. Look at that. Here, go ahead. Wow, these are... All right. Just what I thought they would be. Yeah. Clunky and heavy and terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they are heavy. Oh, oh man. clunky and heavy and terrible. <laughs> but these are lighter than, than the previous. Uh, Can you imagine these in my ways. size? These are feeling like oh. uh, the Supreme Brick. Guy. Dude. You, <laughs> these hey, are did you ever watch, size, did you ever watch Bozo the Clown? Yes. On uh, Chicago's whatever broadcast? No. Damn. <laughs> that's that's what you look like. Damn, that's what you look like. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, so these are the Nike uh, Hyper uh, what, Adapt BBs. Yep. Hyper Adapt B-Ball, yeah. Yeah, man. So, yes, they do look like a water sock. Yes, they are. They're not as clunky as previous. Um, as previous let self-lacing me see that one. shoes. Let me see the one that I can pull my hand on. Let me, let me see the inside here. So, who wants to see a $600 shoe brick online? <laughs> no. What is, what is resale on these? Uh, I had, uh, let me look it up real quick. Because retail is three fifty, right? Yeah. When these dropped, mm-hmm. three fifty was retail. It's they come with this crazy like. It's a charging pad. But and uh, put so this just in perspective. Yeah, go ahead. Those were three fifty. Those inertias were three hundred. The technology behind that is insane. Those inertias have nothing. They're just a big chunky. Oh yeah, Adidas, shoe. we've we've long talked about Adidas yeah. being ri- ridiculous with the price. I'm just like mm-hmm. putting that's, a that's perspective another, here, like right now. Yeah, did these inertias come with a sick charging pad that will also charge your phone? No. Yeah. That charges your phone too, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's tight. Any yeah. iPhone or Samsung? Uh, yeah, any, it's any, wireless. any wireless. Because it's, it's, that, it's that QI or key, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah, they call it. Yeah, yeah. yeah yep. it's the same tech. Same gotcha. Tech. I don't what? know. I like the shoe, man. You know what it's, weirds me out, bro? It's plain and so simple. So apparently the resale for the lowest ask is 419 The highest bid, oh. For, are you looking at size 10 and a half, which is what we have here? Look at the 10 and a half for me. Because I think that's the size I need. I have heard in the past that uh, the self-lacing shoes, you do need to go up a half size. Ten and a half is 448. 
Do you think uh, uh, Do you think the re-up would match pricing? Twelve and a half <laughs> is twelve hundred. Well, like we talked about when he was in here, I bet you it's not his pricing. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the consumer. But he did say that they're doing something a little different. Yeah, they have a model where they can. Uh, I don't remember if they negotiate. You can negotiate, to yeah, rate. to some degree. I don't know if they call the uh, seller every time or whatever. I think they have a specific thing. They have in mind. like a bottom line. Their goal is not to sell it for that like bottom price, but they do have one in mind. So if they need to use it, they can. But the goal is to sell it for what the seller put Tries it at to, first. Yeah. Yeah, but course. at the end of the day, if they need to negotiate, then they can right which is nice because when you go into most of these consigner shops there is there's no a negotiating. set price yeah, yeah that someone is unless left it there literally and... the seller's there then you could be like hey yeah what do you think dal you copying uh no <laughs> <laughs> why would you cop you don't ball i don't ball you agree with me that they look a little bit insane they look a little insane but they're still very neutral like if you look at all the Earl, you know all the old hyper adapts uh, that were retailing for seven fifty. Um, yeah, I think these are a, a lot more fire from that perspective. But um, yeah, I just I, I mean I don't need it, but man, I want to get nerdy with that charge pad, right? Wanna, the app and that. You don't want to wait for the next gen where they'll be a little lighter and the technology oh, a little better. Of course, I'd rather have the. next I told you gen. about the drone. I bought the drone. It was fifteen minutes of flying yeah. time. You know, Dude, now it's doubled. It's thirty plus. Yeah, yeah. the biggest complaint to it's these still first gen shit is the motor is still really loud on these. Oh, That's really? Still, obviously, a big, big uh, dropping of the ball. I think as long as self lacing has been out. For them to not be able to silence that motor just a slight bit, every generation or each generation, I, I mean, I think that's a that's a big miss. Um, I think the water sock look <laughs> is a miss, but I also think that's kind of fire if you are playing ball, so then you don't have to worry about your lace right. coming untied, that kind of stuff. But it seems like Jason Tatum from the Celtics is still playing a lot in these. He's still he's still Zion rocking the shit out of these. Would destroy those yeah. shoes. Oh my yeah, God. Zion first cutback would be done. <laughs> James James Harden step back, nope, done. <laughs> no, come on, these what wouldn't do you, work. Do you think you really think he uh, bust out of those? I think those things look solid. Yeah, like they feel like a solid, strong shoe. I mean, do. that uh, midsole. It doesn't look like the upper is ripping out of that midsole, dude. It looks like it's down in there. Yeah. There's not a lot of give on those. Those I bet you that shoe because it is a basketball shoe. I bet you the lockdown on it is pretty good. Dude. Yeah. Do you, uh, these guys uh do they have any zoom air or anything in here? Do you know? Not to my knowledge. Gotcha. Yeah, those I, I I still feel the same. Mm. I mean technology, I like seeing technology. It's cool. It's new. The new uh new thing is cool, but I'm not, you know. Yeah. You know, it's just not my style. I'm not you jumping out of the window for us. Yeah. Mm. So cool, JJ. Yeah. Thanks for bringing these in, dog. Appreciate it. Yeah, Let us take a look man. at them. We'll let you put that box back together. Yeah, you, I'll let you put everything all. I'm yeah. just going to keep it open just for the thumbnail because cool. it's Dope. one hell of a box to put together. <laughs> but. Um, anything more in sneakers and fashion before we uh, kind of move on here? Um, I think uh, I think that's about it. Game of Thrones tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You're, what so, are you, which one are you getting? Um, I think I'm going to get that dark uh, the dark gray one, you know, that looks extra New Balance-y. <laughs> just to upset you. Do you want me to pick up the House of Targaryen for you? The orange, orange and black joint? I am it? not going after one of those pairs, dude. I can't. I can't do it. I don't yeah. I don't like them enough. Uh, I do want to see you get the pair so we can remove the flags yeah. off the back. Oh, yeah. Get your get your uh, stitch ripper. Yeah, my stitch ripper. Yeah, stitch it and rip it. Grip dude, it and rip it. Dude, I've got I've got a few of those because remember, man, I was I remember when Ultra Boost first became a thing, you know, uh, uncaging them and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean yep. I got multiple seam rippers. Rip. So you're going for that uh, official release date for the clays has been announced. Mm-hmm. It looks like, what, the 30th? Looks like it. Finish line's already got a raffle open. Yep. Foot Locker does not yet. Foot Locker, you'll probably see it this Sunday, I would assume. I would assume. Usually, yeah, yeah. Will, I don't know, well, I say will because I don't know if you're serious or not. I'll be in Vegas when those drop. So I have a feeling I should probably be able to go get a pair somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the day they come out on Saturday. Should be able to get up. I think so. Get in line. Down undefeated, down somewhere, mm-hmm. down at the Adidas store. Adidas somewhere and get and get a pair if I want them. I think the clays are the most fire pair out of that whole pack. Yeah. Same thing though. I need a lace swap. I need a lace swap on them. Totally. I need laces to match that heel tab, and that's gonna set the shoe off. Mm. That bright orange. You better buy now from Rope Lace Supply. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. I better buy right now before we right upload now this cast before we off. upload this. You gotta buy yes. today. Yes. Bye. 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 Um. All right, man. Let's move on to um. 
Let's move into uh, the March Madness tournament a little bit. We'll kind of hit on that, talk about the bracket stuff. Right now we have the uh, Louisville-Minnesota game going on in here. It looks like Minnesota is still up on Louisville, kind of surprising them, a little bit of a shocker. Uh, no Wichita. It's not big, though. It's yeah. not a big lead. It's a little bit of a lead. They do have, um, Uh-oh. Little injuries? Murray just got hurt. What do you have in your uh, – Who's? Let's just, let's just start at the top. Who's your final four now? Final four, I have. Let me pull it up. Sorry, so I can go over a few things. <clears throat> All right, I'll give you mine. I got North Carolina, uh-huh. Duke, uh, Virginia, and Big Blue. Michigan. Same. You really do, huh? Yeah. Wow. I'm like not even kidding you. Exactly the same. You got the same same crew. You got Michigan coming out of the West as well. Good man. Who do you got them beating? Yeah, you know, to get there. Man. I got to represent. Who do you got them beating in the uh, in the uh, Elite Eight to get to the Final Four? Michigan. Yeah. Uh, Buffalo. I got him. Oh, you got Buffalo deep. Look at you on the sleeper tip. Mm. Wow. You have Buffalo down to the elite eight. Yeah. Wow. I, got, I, I, I had the, listening I, to the cast. Man. I had them into it, I but like not Buff- that far. So I like Buffalo, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Here's uh, so here's mine. Uh, so I've got Duke. So in the, in the round of four, I've got Duke, Tennessee, Gonzaga, and UNC. You have Gonzaga going out of that round, huh? I do. I have Gonzaga all, all the way to, Mich- to yeah. the Michigan game. Yeah. I haven't getting beat by I Michigan, just, but I, I'm still nervous. Dude, just, what about Fairley Dickinson in the first round, though? I know. I just couldn't take. I just I couldn't take Michigan that far. I think next year it's a whole new team. Michigan's a whole new team next year. I just think. I just think they're too young. I don't. I, they could surprise us. I just don't see him going to the Final Four. I didn't see it last year either. Uh, yeah, that's true. You know? I mean, it's hard to argue that. I but think these coaches Mo, like Mo John. Wagner, well, I mean, your coaches like like uh, obviously Shishovsky, mm-hmm. your John Beeline, your uh, what's the homie at Syracuse? Um, uh, uh, Boheim. Uh, Jim Boeheim. Excuse Jim, me. Uh, yeah. uh, these kind of coaches, Roy Williams, obviously, they know what to do when you get to tournament time. They know. They know. Uh, they're just. They're just different when you get to tournament time. When you get a coach. When you get. Uh, these teams that have these long tenured coaches like that, and I'm not saying every year, but they know what's going on tournament time. Oh shit, we're at a 13 point dude, lead with it, 12 to go. Louisville looks sluggish Ooh. out there, dude. They do not look good. Crazy first game going to be an upset. And currently, it's not a crazy one, but it could be. Go ahead. Uh, oh. LSU is beating Yale 45 to 29. No shocker. Con Lee just texted me. I hope yeah. you got my LSU Tigers deep, fool. And then Auburn <laughs> is losing to <laughs> he did Mex State. Uh, New Mexico State? New Mexico yeah. State, yep. Dude, I got New Mexico State. That was my biggest upset. I got New Mexico State beating Auburn. Then I got them beating Northeastern. Then I got them mm-hmm. losing to North Carolina. Uh, yeah. <laughs> North Carolina. But I got them. That's a 12 seed, and I've got them all the way to the Elite Eight. And then uh, that's probably my biggest upset. I have New Mexico State as a 12 seed going to the Elite Eight, and then I have Oregon as a 12 seed going to the Elite Eight. Those are my two, my two biggest uh, upsets in the mm-hmm. tournament. What do you got? Um, one of my, and I don't know how big of an upset. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a twelve versus a five. Um, I've got uh, I've got Murray State taking out Marquette. Oh, the I do. racers! I do. Ooh. I think that's one of my bigger upsets, um, and I'm pretty proud of that one. So we'll see what happens there. Um, another one, Murray hmm. State. Fool. Jeez, yeah. Murray Who State, the bro. Hell, are they <laughs> 12, twelve seed over a five? I got yeah. Marquette. Do you? Uh, yeah, and then I have them beating Vermont in the next round too. So I got Marquette to the Elite Eight. So I'm, I would appreciate if that didn't happen. Uh, that would, <laughs> would, would hurt me a little if bit. That didn't happen. But I don't have anyone, dude. Uh, in my final four, it's it's Duke, Virginia, North Carolina, Michigan. So it's one seed, one seed, one seed, and then Michigan's the two seed. Yeah. So it's all it's three one seeds and then a two seed. I same thing in my uh, even even in my Elite Eight, dude. Mm-hmm. The lowest I have is a two seed in my Elite Eight. Kentucky's a two, North Carolina's a one, yeah. Tennessee's a two, Virginia's a one, and then on the other side, Duke is a one, Michigan State's a two, Gonzaga's a one, Michigan's a two. I'm not. I'm the same. Does that does that scare you? I mean, a I'm little not bit. That exact same, but I have the same type of seedings. You know, a roughly. little bit, but I just don't. Uh, just don't see it any other way. I don't see anyone else going super deep. I do like Buffalo, and I do like Oregon. Those are the teams that I could see busting some shit up and making it into the uh, yeah into the uh, Elite Eight. Dude, I have Final four. I have uh, into the well, I mean Sweet Sixteen. I've got Kansas State against Virginia, dude, and I've got Virginia pulling that out just slightly. So I've got Kansas City a little further than what I thought. I've got Kansas State further than Kansas, and this is the first time, dude, in. 10, I was just gonna say 10, 12 well, I gotta, years. I gotta throw you some shade. Aren't you a Kansas dude? Fan? I love my Jayhawks. Where's your gear? 
You don't have any gear on. No. You didn't choose them in the bracket. What no, are you doing? I didn't. Are dude, you a fan? Th- I am. This did is you grow up off County <laughs> County Road 38? What are you doing? <laughs> I did. Yeah, 32. You County Road 32 uh, yeah. off the dirt road. What are no you doing? Doubt. A quarter a quarter drive into the highway and then into another 12 minutes into town. Yeah, totally. <laughs> unbelievable, Dow. I, I you were a fan. I, I love KU, man. But I just here here's here's why I didn't. Um, I'm already sad. Yeah. I'm already down with what they didn't do. Obviously, they lost their conference championship. This is the first uh, year they've lost their conference championship, I think, in God, eight or ten years. It's been a while. Um, I just I just don't want to get my hopes up. I want to be realistic. Man. They're not that team. They're not that great. And um, I Shows just, the kind of faith you have in your squad, Dal. What if they shock everyone and all of a sudden Kansas is in the Final Four? How are you going to be feeling? Pumped. Take that L on the way out. Dude, pumped. this man You're not is completely pumped. Your bracket's going to be wrecked yeah. in Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, and by the way, wrong? By the way, I think you and I, uh, whether you've been with your girlfriend and Robin and I, or just you, you and yourself and Mueller and I, um, you, you've you ruined <laughs> KU's chances every year that we've watched it it's together. It's been coincidental. So, so I wasn't going to wear any Kansas gear in here with you. Why okay? not? Because you're the bad luck, my friend. <laughs> you, you think I tarnish your Kansas gear? Absolutely. Just because you wear it in here and we take a thumbnail? Choner man would agree. I thought we were going to take a thumbnail today. I thought you'd be dra- draped nope. in the Kansas gear nope. i thought you'd have a kansas flag around your <laughs> back coming in here like th- rocky balboa yeah, style yeah no. i thought you'd be ready to go and kansas isn't that team this year no i'm just in here in the michigan hoodie the fab five shorts i got the tom brady throwback underneath Dang. my uh i'm pretty i'm, I'm low-key sad i didn't i went to order a michigan jersey and i didn't do it in time yeah and uh because my Jalen rose jersey got screwed in the fire the mm-hmm. old one i had and so I, i'm just gonna buy one when i get to vegas Dope. the day i get to vegas wherever i can whatever i gotta pay i'm going to get a Michigan, whether I get a Jordan Poole, yeah. whether I get a freaking like I said, a Jalen Rose, a throwback, I'm getting one. I heard Urban Necessities has pretty good, pretty good jersey selection. Really? Yeah. Throwbacks. That's what I've heard. Michigan jersey. Yeah. And he had the help Damn. of Slobby Robbie with that. I, I'm FYI. I'm hitting it up. Yeah, hit it up. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'll see you there on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> You're is this not really going. happening? You watch. I don't know. This you is watch. Funny. This is really funny. If you, dude. If you just show up and me, you and Chris are mobbing out there, we may have to do a vlog. I know. I may have to bring the vlog camera and we may have to do an actual uh, vlog. But if we may what, have to just do it for old time's sake. But then why would we do anything? Oh, I think I think JJ needs to be there. I think JJ I needs to be recording ticket. it. You got a ticket to ride? I have like a free ticket because of you remember about the whole Miami trip last yes, year? Yes. I everything? forgot about that. I have a free ticket just laying around that I need to use. Forgot for about that. October, so forgot about that. I don't know if Rayanne will let me leave, but yeah. Wow, that would be. We could have content just on content. We could be doing this. Oh, stuff. we could have tents on tents on tents. Oh fool. my god, this could get intense. We, we might, so we might content. hit over five hundred thousand subscribers <laughs> that day. Oh wow, this is know. coming together right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like we're having a little meeting, but we're doing it on. Yeah, <laughs> we we save it for the cast. Un- but yeah, this our is people the, know it. This is the truth. This All is right. the uh, epitome of save it for the cast. That's it. All right, get back to get back to the bracket situation. So um, that's really all I had, dude. I don't really yeah. have a ton more. I don't want to spend too too much time on it because people are already going to know what happens. If you're interested in my bracket or Dallas's bracket, you can click into the Yahoo and see yeah. uh, what's going on. That's our final four there. National championship. I have North Carolina beating Duke seventy six to seventy five. Interesting. What do you have? I have Duke actually beating North Carolina eighty eight to eighty two. A mm. pretty damn high scoring game. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So that's that's kind of where we're at, man. I think it's going to be fun. Again, thank you to everybody that joined our uh, March Madness tournament. Followed the instructions on there. I joined a couple different bracket challenges. Same. Pena had one. We have ours. I joined my homie Choners. So I think I'm in three different bracket challenges plus like the free one to try to win a million dollars. Yeah, I did that. Oh, I did the rate. I did the fans too. One hundred four through the fans. Giving away five grand. I figured, if, why not? I, I'm better than all these fools locally. If I can't win five Gs locally, what am I doing? What I might as well rip, up, rip my bracket up. True that. Burn it. Throw it in the trash. Uh, yeah, dude, I think, I think everybody with Louisville is about to rip up their bracket. This, this is luckily. Did you have Louisville deep? Let's take a look at that. Really, I quick did not. Move on. I had I had Louisville Bill, Bill, out. Bill. I have them losing to Michigan State in the I, next round. Same. Okay. So, oh yeah, we talked about that. So same it doesn't. Here. So it doesn't hurt us that bad. But uh, I did have Louisville winning this one. Unfortunately, same. Yeah. Damn it. Who didn't have them beating Minnesota? Uh, that at sucks. Least Michigan State will help. Um, let's move along here, man. <laughs> let's jump into. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the YouTube comments here, and then we'll finish out with some uh, underrated news. So YouTube, YouTube comments were flooded yeah. this week, man. You guys, you guys went crazy with the YouTube comments. I want to make sure we give some time to these. Mm-hmm. We can respond back to all of yours. Uh, first, I want to say, man, I saw a lot of new names yeah. in this. And um, 
I appreciate you guys, man. It look it sounds like a lot of people took offense to the couple people that were talking some shit in the comments last week. Yeah. And so for you guys to come out and show out and show your support and make us feel like, yo, you fools better not be quitting this show. You guys better not be getting discouraged. You guys better not no, and none of that's happening, but for you guys yeah. to come out and say, Hey man, this is awesome. Cause I mean well, you saying, eh, I'm kidding. No, no, no. I know what you're saying, yeah. but cause we do, it is easy to get discouraged yeah. a little bit, dog. You put sure. in so much fucking work. You put in blood, sweat and tears. You put in hours, you put in grind. And I then people just want to tear that shit down. Shit. It's kind of like, damn, are we doing something wrong? Yeah. Am I doing something wrong? Am I yeah. not taking advantage of something else? Is Am I it, not looking at every opportunity to try and get better? Yeah. Is it too long? Are we, you right. know, are we just, you start down, overthinking man. a little bit. We're trying to, you know, we're thinking, man, if we can give these guys, you know, five hours of content a week. Yeah. It's kind of, you know, five, six hours of content a week is kind of what we're trying. Our goal is yep. just a time. So you, you have us to, to listen at your disposal. You know, would it be better if we did three or four shows a week? You know, it is hard to not overthink these things, but you know, we got to continue being us, but people in the comments that come correct, that come with uh, constructive criticism, dude, we love you for it. Keep it up. I think, uh, I think the, the biggest thing that I, the biggest takeaway that I have is I want to make sure I'm, I'm trying to get better, you know? Yeah. And so that's where I kind of get in my head like, shit, am I not getting better? But you know what, man? I'm not going to let negativity get to me. I'm going to let cr constructive criticism get to me. Bet. If somebody comes through with some constructive shit where I can look at it constructively and be like, oh, cool, that's a good point. I didn't look at it that way. Uh, I will t definitely take that into consideration. If it's some bullshit, it's going to be, you know, what it was. Gunshots and fuck off. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it is. <laughs> right. So uh, starting out, the homie manual's in. New new uh, podcast or new new um, comments or sorry may not be a new listener and I do that too I want to let you guys know I listen to I consume a ton of content I guarantee you none of these people that uh, I listen to their show know I listen because right. I don't ever comment I never say nothing so all you people that are silent out there that's fine I encourage you guys just keep listening to the show keep doing what you do man but if you do have any uh, uh, criticism or if you do have any anything that you can uh, you think that we could do to get better shit. I, I welcome it all the time, but if you're just enjoying the show and you're just a fan and you uh, just enjoy finding this podcast twice a week, big ups. I appreciate it, man. Truth. Uh, so Manuel's coming through here. One day this podcast will be as big as the Joe Rogan experience. My dog. Wow. That's belief right wow. there. I like it. Uh, Jay Nasty up next. Yo, what's up? March Madness, baby. Let's do it. Mm. Franchise, I say you don't waste any time on these trolls. Check this out. I was waiting for the podcast to drop. I saw it dropped 19 minutes ago at that time. It already had a thumbs down. Clearly, someone is just jealous of the hard work, commitment, and honesty that... Uh, and honestly, the straight up authenticity that you guys bring. Don't give them the platform. Y'all are family to me. I, ho I hope to travel to Denver soon and sit in with you fools. I would love to give you my perspective and most of all, gain some of your knowledge. Most of the YouTubers are too busy trying to figure out what their monthly check will be. Now, I recognize the importance of that, but don't change up what y'all are doing. Focus on the people that bring something to the cast. If I forget to mention someone, feel free to roast my ass. At GoldenEye, Johnny Boost, Lo, Brian the Philly Plug, Jeff Kirby, Mike the Man, mm. Jay Nasty, will follow because we have something called taste. If I cannot get my YouTube... Uh, if I cannot get to YouTube, I'll go, I'll go pick up the cast on iTunes or another platform. Generally after my kids go down or I have time to spend doing what I enjoy, I make time for it. And if I can't, if I can make time for it with a full-time job, four girls, a wife, three dogs, a cat, and now a horse, then you oh, can wow. too. Dang, <laughs> Trust me on Whoa. that. Oh, this was coming with the smoke. Hey, a horse. Robin's going to be super pumped to hear that. Robin is a horse fanatic. So shout out to hilarious. you, brother. Hilarious. Shout oh out. Hey, by the way, he just mentioned something, uh, you know, how multiple platforms. Yes. Uh, by the way, I'd like to announce that, uh, hey, we are now officially on Spotify as well. Ooh. So we are on all platforms, uh, streaming opportunities. We are your dudes. We've been trying to get on Spotify for the hottest of hot oh, minutes, dude. So uh, I'm pumped that we're now on there. Yep. All of you guys that blow me up say, oh, you guys get on Spotify again. You now can relax. We are mm. on Spotify. Mm. I get that you already pay for Spotify, so you don't want to use something else. I understand. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not critiquing or hating on you guys. True. Whatever you want to listen to on your preference of choice, I agree. We should be everywhere, and now we are getting uh, mm. everywhere. Mm. So mm. Spotify, we come for your ass. 
I was trying to get some, uh, I was trying to get some streams over there too. Mm. Let's try to grow this shit even more. We I mean, if we're hitting between, if we're hitting over three thousand streams now. We're now with the addition of Spotify, we should be over four, five thousand an episode, man. Yeah. So, uh, really excited about that. That's a really big audience of people rocking with us, dude. That's a big, big, yeah. especially for me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's big. And like I said, these people are coming here for us, Doug, for the content that we're doing. It's not. It, it's easy. It's easy to get a hundred thousand views when you're showing sneakers. Sure. I did it all day. Yeah. It's nothing, dog. It doesn't take talent. Yeah. It's not. You're not that good. Yeah. You're not that tight. If you're pumped because you have a channel that's getting 100,000 videos with 100,000 views. We just see it differently. Yeah. I don't see that as that tight. I feel like anybody can do that shit because it's their, you're showcasing the sneaker. People mm -hmm. are coming there for the shoe and for the product you're showing, not for you. You know what I mean? That's why I say you know, you're probably not that tight. Yeah. Like it's not that hard. Dal could start a channel tomorrow and probably yeah. do a couple videos and have 100,000 views on some hype shit. I could go do a sick lacing tutorial and get 100,000. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Over, you know? Exactly. So, um, Thank you, man. Thank you to you guys. I appreciate, I appreciate you. you. Go, uh, Jay Nasty continues along here. Uh, remember, your interaction with us is underrated. Give me a break. You fools are working all the. You fools are working full time, living your life, and sharing real personal shit. To me, it's invaluable. Dal inspired me to get into counseling with my beautiful wife. Sometimes you don't even realize that what you're doing is hurting the ones you love, and the, and most of us, uh, and the most is you're not. I'm sorry, the ones you love most, and you're not even trying to. So sometimes you don't even realize you're hurting the ones you love most and you're not even trying to. Yes, I started following you from the beginning and it wasn't for relationship advice, but if not for Dal and his love tank saga, my marriage would be in trouble, man. Listen yeah. carefully. Honestly, I Go have ahead. to agree with him. <clears throat> Listening to you guys, I feel like I'm going to be an expert once I start dating again. Right. Like, that's yeah. insane. That's yeah. funny, man. That's, that's awesome, man. Shout outs to you, Jay Nasty, man. Good for you, brother. And even you, JJ. That's yeah. cool, dude. That's cool that you're able to pick up some knowledge and you don't even have a girl, but you're like, hey, in a situation, these guys have already been there. These yeah. guys have already got, been I, in the doghouse. I went house. through so much bullshit in high school, and it's mainly because it was in high school, but just hearing your guys' stories is like, Holy crap, I could have avoided yeah. so much bullshit. Maybe I, maybe I can watch out for this, or maybe I can do this, or, oh, that's a quick thought. Hmm, interesting. No yeah. Stored in my toolbox. Exactly. He continues along here. Listen carefully. I don't want to sound like a fanboy, but you guys have brought real, tangible value to my life, and I appreciate each and every one of you for it. At the end of the day, it's called life, and I'm glad I get to listen in and throw opinions out. Regardless of what they of what they are, uh, sorry, regardless of whether they are read on the cast, I know you will see this and I want you to know that I meant every word. Looking forward to meeting you guys and fuck these little baby dick trolls <laughs> trying to bring down <laughs> others to their level. YouTube has plenty of videos. Simply type in how to get a life. Maybe you'll learn something <laughs> or you could always just, or you could always just get fucked. <laughs> 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 oh my god that's the way to go folks <laughs> you're going to use you're going to use our platform to bring the cast down it's impossible take that L on the way out take that L on the way out <laughs> dude man. brilliant brilliant comment man brilliant yeah. comment he's in it he's in it all the way dude Jay Nasty I appreciate you dog yeah. give me one more shot uh, I really appreciate you man that was super kind words mm -hmm. makes me feel really good that we are adding value yeah. uh, to people's life we're not just sitting here talking some, day, some days it may be that it may be jokes it may be bullshit it may be shit talking yeah. but I think when there is real shit to be tackled and there is real stuff to address we do it yeah so uh Thank you for that, man. We Thank want you, you guys. Yeah, no, we we want you guys to know our struggles just as much as you, we know yours. I mean, it's it's transparency, one hundred percent here, man. The homie James is in, and he actually spelled his name out phonetically for us. Guragna, <laughs> Guragna, James Guragna. That's a pretty sick last name. He said to save you the oh, hassle, yeah, or you can just say James if it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Guragna. That's tight. The homie Guragna came through. What's up? Uh, let's see. Y'all are continuing to crush it. Sometimes I'll be at a red light cracking up and what y'all are saying and get weird looks. Yeah. I just let it happen because the cast is just too good. <laughs> Dal, keep filling up the love tank. JJ, keep being honest. We always want you to be honest. <laughs> of course, man. Of course. Oh, shit. Uh, TTF, when's that merch coming? First in line when it drops as long as you tell me what sizes you have. Unlike bait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this, my man. This comes in there. Hey, man, James, we are, this is your first time coming through, but uh, you're doing a great job, bro. Yeah, man. I love it. Uh, last question. I'm from Boston, and we all love Isaiah Thomas. Mm -hmm. He just played here on Monday night and we and got welcomed home, got the welcome home he deserved. I know he has a he's had a strange journey in the NBA. What are your thoughts? Curious to hear them since he's on the Nuggets now. Mm -hmm. Here's my thoughts on Isaiah, dude. I was talking to somebody else about this yesterday. 
it looks to me like he's just not fully healthy. Yeah. It looks like they put him out there before he was ready. And dude, this Nuggets team is not only is this Nuggets team good, but they're deep. Mm-hmm. He's gonna have a hard time yeah. playing that way. He's just not playing up to his full potential right now. And I don't know. It may be too early to say whether he's injured or if this is just who he is now. This might just be the guy. That just might be who he is. He may not ever be back to his old self. We've yeah. seen that a ton of times in sports. Guys get injured and then they just, they're not the same. This may be the case with Isaiah. I'm not sure. I'm not saying that definitively, but what I am saying is it's regardless, he's going to have a hard time finding, getting on the court, dude, yeah. with the Nuggets. The Nuggets, the Nuggets are so, they're not, not only the team good, but they're deep. Yeah. And that's just going to create trouble for him. What do you think? I, I, I couldn't agree with you any more than that. I think that initial injury, what was it, a hip injury yeah. that took him out of yeah. uh, Boston? And Boston got rid of him, Cleveland, blah, Nuggets, you know, the whole thing. Did he break um, a hip or something? I don't really know what it was. Maybe hip dysplasia, maybe broken hip. I don't know. Maybe Ooh, maybe just yikes. broken vagina. I don't know, <laughs> but that really set him back. And I think he's had a hell of a time getting back to his old self if he ever will. I agree with that, um, especially with the Nuggets team that is super fast-paced. I have never seen passing and team camaraderie like this. Dude, it, never within the Nuggets organization that I remember. This is a total different team. And when you can have your starters go out, when Jokic is having not his best game, but you can have... the the, you know the uh, the bench come in and totally run that team. Yep. I'm shocked, no doubt. And I think uh, I think Isaiah doesn't have an identity with him, and I think it's because he sat out for so long. I think he's been with three teams, you know, very recent. Um, I just and, and I think he does have some health issues. Those are three things I would add to that. Yep. But he's a great player, man. I don't want to take anything away from him. Uh, I did watch the Boston tribute, and I thought they did a hell of a job for him, man. So, uh, Isaiah was Boston strong yep. for sure. So if I may ask. Give, if we give him a year, do you think he will earn his identity on the team, or do you think it's just going to go downhill from here and he just needs to find a new team to kind of restart all over again? Truthfully, I think we're going to push him out. I think so, too. I think uh, we're going to push him out. It sucks. I know. Uh, I love I Isaiah. Don't. I just yep. it just doesn't, doesn't we just work don't here. don't need him. We're just not seeing what we need to How keep him. How much are we paying him? Are we overpaying him at all? Or? I don't think so, man. I don't think we. I don't couple, think we couple, paid him a ton a couple of money. Mil? Okay. I don't. I, I don't I think it was a couple. Mil I was about to say, if we're was. overpaying him, we're no. really losing. Yeah, I don't even think it's that much pay necessarily, but I just don't think he's adding much, at least to the he Nuggets no organization. He's on a one-year deal. I'm pretty oh, sure, really? dude. Okay. I'm, yeah, he's he's on. Oh, here you go. Here you go. So he uh, might not even be here next. He's year. on a one-year deal. Yeah. Two million dollars. Two. That's what I thought. Guaranteed. Uh, so I mean. That's it. It's a one year prove it deal, basically, oh, yeah. for so two million bucks. I guess he's gone. Now, just to well, say, hey man, are you? Yeah. Can you do it or not? As a business owner, Let's see how you fit. as a business owner, I I would say he's not here. I mean, it's nothing personal. It's just business, and I don't think he's shown enough. The return's not there. Yeah, I think he's out. Uh, nice job, James. Man, yeah. way to come through for your first comment, bro. Uh, the next up, Lorenzo Valenzuela. Oh, dude, I gotta get that name. That's like a. Lorenzo Valenzuela. That's like a fighter name. Fool. Yeah, that deserves Lorenzo yeah. Valenzuela. I need a little. Uh, that's I need, a, little, that's I need a nickname in the middle. Yeah. Though. Was that Michael Buffer or was that his brother, Bruce? Yeah. <laughs> that was a mix. It's pretty good. <laughs> that was a <laughs> thanks. <man. laughs> Fighting, uh, right? That's what Fighting. you need. Fighting. Fighting. His voice gets all it cracks and you gets all that one. Fighting. Yeah. That's so sick, though. Damn it. I love uh, it. Lorenzo's in. Fuck the haters. Sorry, Auntie. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tune in <laughs> so, in parentheses. I tune into the show because it's uh, it's a one stop shop for a lot of things I rock with. Instead of listening to three to four different casts that are an hour long each, it's just a plus that it's genuine show and the with genuine motherfuckers like y'all. Hmm. Uh, oh, like y'all three included Stringstein. Right. Hey, I appreciate it. Give me some love. Uh, it's just a genuine show. With genuine motherfuckers like y'all three, there's plenty of there's plenty of create for clicks channels on YouTube and not enough real ones. Keep it up, fellas. Appreciate it, my dog. Mm. Thank you, bro. Lorenzo coming through. Uh, Brian the Philly plug is in. What up, homies? Again, uh, great show as always. Keep pl- keep cap- clapping back at these fools. I find it entertaining. Sometimes it's already handled in the comments, but drama sells. Mm-hmm. Bill and Ted three announced. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> There it is, dude. JJ's holding up the shirt right yeah. now. Bill, did you? Uh, <gasps> we talked about that. Yeah, I saw the video. I'm ready. Uh, it looks like uh, was it uh, August 2020 is uh, when uh, I think that was a, a date that they dropped. So they they were both uh, recording uh, from the forum, I think, in LA. 
And they're like, oh, and this is a place we'll never play as the Wild Stallions, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, but they said, hey, be prepared. August twenty twenty. I think it's no. They were not at the forum. They were at the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, the That's Hollywood Bowl. Is that Hollywood, what it was? Yes, okay, gotcha. Yes, yep. Hollywood Bowl. Um, yeah, the outdoor of, uh, venue. Yep, yep. Yeah, super sick, dude. I'm already ready. Pumped for that. Uh, we should go watch one and two just to get in the in the mode. I own them. Yeah, we need to, we need to watch one and two, and then we'll go see three. <laughs> Yeah. So that way, JJ, you gotta come too. Cause JJ definitely yeah, doesn't, doesn't know. He doesn't, he know, doesn't know anything. I have no idea what's going on here. He just got a sick shirt. <laughs> yeah. uh, Brian continues along. TTF. After all this Michael talk lately, if you need to tell us anything about Ed McCaffrey bringing you back to his dorm room when you were younger, when we got <laughs> <laughs> we got your back. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, just want to make sure he didn't yeah. make you run his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> or teach you any weird things. Well, I get it. I got to give you a shot for that. We didn't go back to his dorm room. I went into the lobby of the hotel and put him on a cart. That was it. <laughs> hey, Sto- bring my bags to the room. Went into guys. the lobby, uh, the dorm room, put his stuff on a cart, and that's where we he uh, gave me the uh, <laughs> signature, signed my shit and everything. That was it. There's nothing else going on with me and Ed. <laughs> hey, still, get, still give a shot for listening intently. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> can we post an IG live video of you guys smashing the splitter? Ooh, yeah, that'd be good. That, uh, yeah. that uh, just an uh, sure. um, also just an idea. What about you? Uh, what about you showing us your new whips on IG so we can see the whips that are always being discussed? Give Dal a shot for admitting to listening to the real Ray Ray, aka Tom. <laughs> <laughs> That's no Dal's doubt. boy. Dal no loves doubt. that guy. No well, he doubt. doesn't miss a vid. It's just so gross. You're like you just can't. Eat. You're watching. You just can't look away. It's one of those things, man. <laughs> I feel bad. You never miss al- an episode. It's almost like a guilty pleasure, and I just want to punch myself in the dick. <laughs> Uh, he continues <laughs> twice. <laughs> college admissions, college college admissions as a whole has always been messed up. Rick Singer's main selling points were that there are two typical ways to get into big colleges: athletic or academic scholars, uh, or the backdoor example, large donations like donating to the university. Mm-hmm. But he said, "I have a third option: the side door, which will cost you less than the back door." The big issue is both the second and third option are horrible and should be illegal. However, the one that benefits. The school, number two, has always been overlooked. Hopefully, this situation will shed more light on the back door. Mm. Bam. Laying it down. That's good shit right there. Are we talking about bait or college? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to. Okay. Lastly, I did tweet you a quick read about college athletes and even on scholarship that can be paid to work a job. That being said, it's super tricky and the risk matters a lot. Not even worth it. Totally, man. I want to get to that article too. I, yeah. uh, that's the one we brought up earlier. Shout out to Brian. Sent us the shit earlier. Came through in the comments. Sent the letter. Rocking with us heavy today on the cast. Appreciate it. Uh, the homie Dirty DJ is in. Great cast again, fellas. I def go through the cat. I def go through cast withdrawals when I'm on my way to work on Tuesday, patiently waiting for the new one. Uh, oh man, those oars are so fire. Agree that I don't have three hours to devote to the cast, but my commute to work and even doing dishes and other things around the house is when I listen slash watch. Def agree people aren't maximizing their time. That's all I'm saying, dog. Yeah. There's no way people are maximizing their time. Like, uh, if you're one of those people, I'll, I'll actually, um, here, let me, uh, I'll finish this comment real quick. Oh, actually, no, it goes into something else. Um, what I'll say here is <laughs> people, if you're, if you're one of these people, that listens to that listens to shows, watches things, reads books, and you have to finish at that moment. If you have that certain personality trait, whatever that is, then I understand. This show may not be for you. Because this is not a consume all at one time type of show. Right. This is a throw it on, get a little bit of cast in your ear while you're getting ready, you're in the shower in the morning on your way to work, you turn it off. When you get to work, you do your work, whatever. Maybe you jump back in the car to go to lunch. You consume some cast. Maybe you got some free time. Uh, you consume some cast. You're on the way home. You're cooking dinner for the kids. You consume a little cast. Your wife comes home. Now you're no longer listening to the cast at this point. Yeah. Okay. Listen carefully. You turn off the cast. You talk to your wife. You do your normal stuff. You wake up in the morning. You jump in the shower. You turn the cast back on. We're still there. We yeah. didn't go anywhere. <laughs> We're still there. You can still listen. Yeah. It's fine. There's no big deal. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, it's wild. You have to almost educate people on how to listen to podcasts. But I guess the people that are bitching probably aren't listening anyway. So I just wasted everybody's time. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, hey, shout out to yes. Apple for doing dishes. No doubt. All right, you don't do up, dishes? I do dishes. Oh, I was about to say. I fill up the love tank. Yeah, I do dishes by throwing them in the dishwasher. Nice. <laughs> yes. Uh, he continues along. I think I need to pick a pair up with those laces. Um, were those were those the laces out of the blaze the blazers or a lace seller? Yep, definitely out of the blazers. Yeah, uh, hook up by Fail Beast, and aka Andy. Fail Beast had the pair. He yep. sent them in to Dal. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. Um, 
love yeah, the shoe. The, with all Hallows Eve. Yeah. Uh, he said, love the shoe with each one like you did, Dow. As for the Sean Weatherspoon 97 ones, I'd say hold. I think the price will only rise. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you could buy a lot of fire with that, but could be 1500 in like another three to six months. Mm-hmm. I'm also in on the bracket challenge as well. Didn't go with my heart and bl- big blue though, like last year. That would have been good, dude. If you went with big blue last year, I mean, you made it all the way to the championship. You know, you still had Michigan there. So yeah, no doubt. If you took them all the way. But uh, shout out to Dirty DJ for coming through. Uh, what happened? Oh, it's going crazy. Oh, yeah, we're down to what? 10, 10 minute game, 12 minute game. I'm sorry, 12 point game. is yeah. still behind, unfortunately. 12 point game with 316 to go. No Stone Cold. Yeah. And we, uh, and we got we got upset alert going on here for Louisville. Do you think they'll come back? Louisville. Do you guys call it Louisville or Louisville or Louisville? Louisville. Louisville. You know, I call it Louisville. Louisville. I like I'm from one. the like yeah. I'm from the south, deep in the heart of Bama. Louisville. Oh, jeez, come on. Uh, man. All right, let's connect. Continue with the next one, the homie Steve. Want to start off by saying great podcast as always, boys. Listening to it, making dinner as we speak, Dallas. Uh, I would gamble and hold on to the Shans. One day they could be worth two to three thousand, mm-hmm. or th- I'm sorry, two to three times what they are now. And lastly, I just want to say, keep in mind, franchise in Dallas, that the 700s break in beautifully over time. The toe box issue gets resolved. A lot of people make mistakes thinking they need to go half up, but going true to size and breaking them in gets the f- them to fit like a glove. I found going half half up after the break in, you tend to get heel slip, which I can't stand. Just my two cents, but happy to see you guys experience your first seven hundreds. Appreciate it, man. Dope. That's something I haven't heard at all. I haven't heard anyone say that. Everyone's been saying, yeah, half up, half up, half up. But I have a I have like a really even on the site, even on the Adidas site, it says true to size. So Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. I always I always take their advice. Hey, hold on. Quick pause. Not. Nah. Dude. Real controversial call here. Why? What happened? Shot clock. Look at the when the ball releases from his hand. This would put them into single digits. Mm. So we got a controversial call at two minutes forty eight seconds. Shot clock at zero. Has the ball released from his fingers? I don't think so. What did I they do. call on the court? I do. What did they call it on the court? Uh, I well, they called it good, but now they're reviewing it. Is it? Uh, they called the basket good. I think so. Then it's gonna stay. Yeah, it's gonna stay. It's too close. Yeah, There's not indisputable no evidence there. Um. Dope, man. I, I like that comment a lot. I, I didn't know. I'm going to, I go in half up on mine and they're fitting fine. Same. I do get a little heel movement having them hype beast laced, which yeah. is not tied. Sure. But if I'm tying them, I think uh, that would be perfect. True to size might be better yeah. if you decide not to lace them. Do the but rabbit ears. If you can deal with the tightness. I'm a very, very hard 12, though. Like, I'm a true, true 12. Yeah. There's not much room for me to, like, I could never go to an 11 and a half. Like, I'm mm-hmm. a very hard 12. So uh, for me, I like the 12 and a half. I'm I'm glad I went with the twelve and a half, um, but that's like me. I'm we'll a hard. See. We'll I'm see if they super, break in. I'm a super hard ten. So ten and a halfs, I do go at times, especially with the one point ultra boost. But yeah, hard tens. That's you know ten and a half. I think I'm fine in here. Totally. Golden Eye is in. The SB Dunks back in the day had the socks in the box. I was really surprised that Nike kept it 100 and included him with the retro. That's dope. He's talking about the dorm backers yeah. that I got last episode. Dow, for sure, sell the Witherspoons now. It just seems like nowadays no shoe is safe. Any shoe can be retroed and resell can be killed. I went ahead and sold mine. Couldn't pass on making a 1000 Got lucky and got them for retail during the sneakers restock reserved for members who voted for Sean's shoes. Dope. Uh, going through the comments seems to be an all or nothing deal. Addressing negative comments just shows how you guys can take criticism and it's an opportunity to remind viewers to add something constructive if it's not going to be negative. Don't bitch about something. Uh, oops, sorry. I need to see more. Oh, where to go? Damn it. Oh, he said, uh, don't bitch about something without a suggestion on improvements. Another solid cast, guys. Golden Eye. Hey. Fire, what do you think about that? Weatherspoons. Um, I don't... He's on my train. Sell now. Sneaker market's volatile. Any sneaker can be retroed. Right. Anything can be crazy. You know what else we didn't talk about on the last cast? You remember when Kanye left Adidas and they restocked those Red Octobers yep. after he left? And which, I mean, resale went down for a little bit there, yeah. but obviously it's, it's climbed There's again. six Gs now. It's cli- yeah. Relax. It's climbed again. <laughs> I'm saying. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Whoa, man. <laughs> That's pretty Whoa. close. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, yeah. I think that was pretty close. That's pretty close. Uh, what do you... Um, yeah, I mean, I think you're right. I think... But I think with this hype... Um, you don't think they're going to try to maybe 
just hit Sean Witherspoon a little bit and say, all right, you want to leave? Bah. Yeah. Here you, you know, go, restock. Yeah. <laughs> restock on your shoes, bitch. You know, what, you know what I think? I think eventually one of those samples that he did is going to come out, and then that's going to bring this hype back on these. So I think, um, you know, 1500 to two grand by the end of the year with uh, something like that. Um, I think that's going to happen. So I think I'm going to hold on to them uh, because I don't need the money right now. And uh, plus, I can also take him to SneakerCon uh, on the 27th and kind of see what trade bait and see what's out there. Uh, I think that sounds fun. Nice. I want to make it a game of it. I think you should just bring him out to Vegas and put him at UN and see what happens. Dude, did you hear what he's doing? No. Let me put you, let me, let me, since you opened it up, uh, Two Chase Kicks for his consigners is giving not one, but two cars away this year for his consigners. Now, I don't know what the stipulations are, but if you ain't consigning with the UN right now, what are you doing? Wow. Because you have the chance to not win one, but maybe two cars. That's crazy. So yeah. Super sick. What are you doing? I gotta, I'm, I'm going to take him to you in. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing now? Whoa, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll see you at you in that's on Friday. Funny. Uh, that leads right into this next comment, the homie Jay Williams coming through. Fellas, huge fan. I stumbled upon the channel about a year ago when searching for 2J's channel. Saw the episodes where you traveled to Vegas, went sneaker shopping, and interviewed him in his store. Yeah. I've been following since. Just never been one to comment a lot. Wait, hold up. Did did he see you slide down the rail and rip your ass? He had to have. If he Hell watched yeah. that vlog, he saw me. I'm that gonna, was super sick. I should post that for Throwback Thursday today yeah. since I'm going to Vegas next week. Uh, I'm going to do that. Keep building and growing the cast because it's only going to get better. For all the folks who want to complain about having sneaker reviews, how about y'all send some sneakers for them to review? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and for all the negative folks, they can take that L on the way out. Much love, homies. Take that L on the way yeah, out. I like I it. Just brought in two shoes for y'all. So. There you go. Oh so, oh, so you're saying we should do sneaker reviews on those? No. I'm just saying, I just brought in shoes so you could like... You know, he's saying these people oh, complaining okay. about sneaker reviews should send us some sneakers send us to some review. Shoes, yeah. yeah, I think that's a great point. You guys are doing a lot For of sure. talking. You're not doing a lot of adding to the channel, okay? <laughs> right. uh, there we go. Jay, nice job, man. I know you don't comment a lot. Thank you for coming through. Bro. Nice comment. Uh, Irvin. Irvin is in. Uh, the Ignore the idiots. Keep grinding and pay them no mind. Don't give them their two minutes of fame. That's ultimately what they want. I don't comment as much as others, but look forward to the podcast every Tuesday and Friday. Real life things, not BS stories uh, like on some other people's channels. Keep the same energy. P.S. The 700s are fucking ugly. <laughs> <laughs> much success. I like it. Hey, I, I'm with you, bro. I thought they were terrible until I got this uh, inertia pair. I still think the other pairs are terrible. Yeah. I think the future pairs coming out with the 3M uh, visible on the sides look terrible. Oh, the peanut butter soles? Yeah. Yep. Nope, nope. So I'm um, out. I, I don't even think the inertias are hot. I'm, I'm still out on them. I love them. Yeah. I I'm going to give Especially it. Especially with the lace swap. I love them. Yeah. I just love that color. I'm so surprised you don't, Mr. Neutral. Yeah. I'm surprised. I don't know. They're just not for me. Uh, Devrante's in. Yo, yo. Tell that doofus who said the podcast is too long to eat a dick. Consume the show in pieces over a couple days and boom. Just like we said. Uh, he continues, I suggest adding more sound to the show in general. More drops, light background music to set the mood of the convo and sele at select times. Mm. Keep it up. Appreciate it, dog. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the news segment. See what happens. Oh. Uh, the homie Keith Crum is in. Sneaker reviews are cool and all, but I definitely prefer the casts. Plus, we still get mini reviews on the shit that y'all actually want to cop instead of just random hype shit. This is the only cast I watch on an every week basis. Definitely, definitely feel like we'd be homies if I lived out there in CO, considering you guys talk about all the same shit I'm into. I'd, uh, I'd say don't waste your time on the haters' comments. Appreciate it, Keith. Nope. Um, let me see if there's a... Uh, he said... <laughs> He replied to his comment and said, however, I do miss the rickety stadium seats from the reviews, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. He brought those. the rickety stadium seats Damn. into it. That's I, fire, I even Keith. forgot about those. Keith, my dog. Hey, that is fire as We're hell. trying to replace him. Franchise got his uh, director's chair. Now I got to go pay, pay for mine. That's funny. So as they're up. about to be replaced. Yeah, no shit. Uh, Saint Skinner is in. I think that I think um, this is the homie Dustin. I, he uh, he's always he's always rocking with us yeah. on Twitter. Cowboys fan. He comes through. Love the cast, guys. Been around since the vlogs and can't wait to see what's next. If people wanted to make time to watch slash listen, listen, they would. I work forty plus hours a week at a telecom store and have a five month old at home. Mm. Yet I never miss an episode. Keep it going, fellas. Bang. Nice. There we're, we go. We're already buddies. No I work doubt. for telecom as well. Yeah, I think. Uh, Damn, I feel like he works for Verizon, I want to say, maybe. The big V? Yeah, I'm not positive, but 
Uh, let's see. The Monday midsole is in. Don't have time to listen to the podcast, but you make time to log on to the YouTube app and complain about a podcast. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them, bro. Shouts to you. Uh, oh, Ghost geez. Life is in. TTF, good shit as always. Keep killing it. Much love. Appreciate you, my dog. Uh, X Ripped is in. Sit on those weather spoons like a hen does an egg. Upside is 2K easily. Downside, maybe you lose a few hundred. Either way, you're still making profit. Worth the gamble and everything. And <laughs> Take the L on the way out. There you Got go. Him. I like that. Got him with that. Got him with the J. Matthew McKay is in. There's never been a hater that's doing better than the people they hate on. Fuck the haters, and they can all take that L. Take that L on the way out. I think the podcast is the best thing y'all have done. That... Uh, that's all. I look forward to Tuesdays and Fridays. Thanks, boys. Appreciate you, my dog. Let's go. Uh, let's see. The homie, Ch- the homie Chase is in. What does this mean? I forgot what he's referencing here. Maybe he's JJ. He said, money by the weekend. Hardcore, brother. I don't money know. Money by the uh, weekend. I, the only thing I can remember is you saying you're going to have money by the weekend. I don't remember. Damn, I'm going to have to ask Chase. And what I he think he said that. that today. Yeah, so I don't know. No, this is one day ago. Hmm. Uh, Mike the man is him personally I vote that you should read the negatives too it's still entertainment you got it dog uh, let's see here damn I don't know how to pronounce this L-U-X-X-I-Q Luxic Ooh, I don't know Luxic Yeesh. you're gonna have to hit me with uh, a pronunciation dog because I don't want to be messing up your screen name totally uh, how's it he said, how's it going down, fools? Another great cast. Been loving it since back in the day when Franchise was spinning the sneakers on the YouTube channel. I've given a listen to some other sneaker casts, and they don't even come close. The chemistry between you guys is great. I listen on the drive home from work or home with the father-in-law, then again sometimes with my wife. She likes to listen to Dow's relationship views, then tries to turn that into our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Uh, the one episode when you talked about how all your past relationships were on your terms, man, you, that really fucked me up for a week. Just in case you, re, uh, you read this on the cast, she's listening. Let me just say, baby, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's always on your terms. Whatever you want to do, girl. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Oh, I love it. Either way, love the show. Keep up the great work, fellas. P.S. Franchise, glad to see you picked up a pair of the 700s. Super dope with the lace swap. I went with the cream laces. Dow, don't sell the weather spoons. Those are going to go up. Uh, what did you guys think about the Jordan 1 Spider-Man joints? Wanted to get a pair for me and my son, but I've never owned or tried on a Jordan 1. Mm. Uh, what do you think there? So uh, a lot to unpack there. Dude, I appreciate the – I love that people are getting the relationship uh, advice out of this. That is, that's incredible to me. Yeah. The fact that we can realize stuff in our relationships because neither Dal nor I are even close to perfect. Our relationships are not perfect. Our girlfriends are not perfect. We all have issues, dog. And there's going to be things that we're going to have to work on. And if I find a little shortcut, if I find a little something my lady likes, if I find a little something that works good, I'm with you guys. I'm going to try to help you out as much as I can. I'm going to try to give you guys that knowledge or give you guys that little cheat code that I found. Like, hey, next time she reacts this way, try this. Yeah. This, shit, this shit worked for me. Yeah. Made her happy. Everyone was cool. It was uh, made a big deal into not a big deal. You know? The game genie of relationships. Yes. Love the it. game genie. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Uh, oh, the Spider-Mans. Dude, I highly recommend the Spider-Mans. I love them. I don't think Dow still has his pair. I don't nope. even know if he... Did you sell oh, them? Or I sold mine. Sold them. I, I mean, love I, that pair. I think that pair is super sick, but I'm also a guy that wears a ton of Jordan 1s, and I'm I'm going to wear them. I have worn them. Yeah. What Did up, you y'all? get those blue or, uh, laces, Gina. though? Or have you gotten blue laces? No. Those would have been sick. Yeah, I know. I haven't so, gotten them yet. So here, here's the only uh, downfall to me selling them. Uh, so I'm a big collector, right? Um, I hadn't seen the Spider-Verse movie uh, until here recently. Oh, my God. That bad. is one of the best movies. Oh, best? One of the best wow. movies I've seen when it comes to comic books. Um, it was done so well. Wow. And it made me want to have that shoe back just because the movie was so sick huh. as the collector in me. So if you haven't seen that, go watch that I thought Spider-verse. you were going to say complete opposite because oh you never said anything to me about it. Dude. You weren't like, hey, dude, I just I saw, saw, I just oh, saw it recently. Really? Yeah. It was so, so good. But That's uh, crazy. The shoe for me, it looked like some some fake bootleg Gucci with the stamps on them. Uh, I, I just didn't really like that too much, but I think the shoe as a whole, as a collector, I, it's a great shoe. Great shoe. Dope, man. Hey, I haven't seen your... Uh it's L-U-X-X-I-Q. Like I said, dog, I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, I haven't seen you in here before. Thank you for coming through, my guy. Good good, good comment, man. Great questions. Uh, great interaction. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you coming through. Uh, next up, the homie Landon is in. I love you guys and Ted and Ern. The most entertaining, quality, and genuine content creators out there. Video, podcast, radio, doesn't matter to me. And the real ones will always support you guys. Franchise, I've been watching since you had less than 1,000 subscribers. 
So I can't wait for the merch or Patreon to support you guys even more. Also, Dal and JJ add their own flair and make the content even better. Your hard work and dedication do not go unnoticed. So keep it up and keep killing it. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, dog. Landon coming through. Great comment. Super positive. And then uh, the homie Al Baroon commented on there. Couldn't agree more. So uh, thank you for that, dog. Mm -hmm. Uh, Let's see. Next one up. The homie Mike is in. Different Mike. Mike081082 is in. He says, Slicky's laces has the 700 laces and the 100 centimeters, 120, 140. It's the oval laces, though. So I'm not going to. Uh, he puts. He said it's the oval laces. That's out. I'm out on that, dog. I hate the oval laces. I just, I don't know why. He said they have inertia orange, cream, inertia blue, and a bunch of other random colors. I wish they had those, those in flat. Yeah. I just want the damn flat. I can't. The ovals, I don't know. So I'm out. The ovals them. bother me. Uh, let's see. He said, no, I don't sponsor, sponsor them, but I bought a few pairs of them. They're a Singapore company, and they seem really cool. Hmm. I haven't received my pairs yet, but I'll let you know how close mine match the peach, the peach hitch hits since i got those yeah let me know dude because nope. I'm, I'm curious about the colors i won't buy the ovals but uh i'll see if i can find the same colors in different uh style laces he continues along no sit on the weather spoons i rock a pair and i've been storing away another pair for a while now if they restock them then so be it since i love the shoe that much if you love them sit on them if not then take the money and run and uh get some pairs you'll appreciate but one of the two things will happen if you go if you keep them, if you keep your pair and you love them, you're screwed. LOL. If they go up to 2K in a year, you're good. Mm-hmm. So I mean, he's basically saying, you know, if you love them and you're gonna rock them, hang on to them. But you're not. You don't have the right size. I need. The, I I need another half size up. That's his problem. You have a nine. I yeah. I have a nine, and I can wear a nine and a half or a ten in those because they're so long. So if I get that man, I'd probably keep them. But this nine, you're dude, gonna have to trade at sneaker con, man. Yeah. When the right price comes. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it's over. <laughs> no. uh, and then Landon commented on that, telling Mike, thank you for the recommendation on the Slickies laces. That's the shit I love to see, man. You guys helping each other out. Yep. People are able to get some stuff out of people that aren't even us, just people in the in the uh, the comments. I appreciate you guys. The homie Brian Valencia is in, man. I used to sit with this cat in uh, sophomore year in math, math class. He's mm. my guy. Uh, he knows he's a Raider fan. Oh. Damn, the, the 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 iPad did not want me to give that shot to you. I had to click it four times. Raider so maybe my niche. iPad's a Raider fan too. Uh, he says I'll bank on um, I'll bank on this for the tourney. I see three teams that can run it. Duke, if they get there, they win it. North Carolina wins if they don't play Duke, and Michigan State wins if they don't play North Carolina. Hmm. That's that's kind of how he what he thinks. That I agree with some of that. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Stinson is in. What up, fellas? It's a shame people can't appreciate the time and energy and effort you guys that goes into doing what you guys are doing. Same guys complaining that life isn't fair, want participation ribbons and orange slices that don't measure up. Mm-hmm. The versatility and content's always on point and real. I always look forward to Tuesdays and Fridays for the new drop. We're on the road to WrestleMania, so keep laying the smack down on these clowns. And that's the bottom line. Mm-hmm. Cause Stone Cold said so. There you go. That's yeah, true. you know what, Brandon? Yeah. For you, man, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're talking about. WrestleMania 35 from MetLife Stadium, the Mecca. It is going down. The Rock said he's going to come down. He's going to take your candy ass. He's going to check you into the SmackDown Hotel on Know Your Old Boulevard and Jabroni Drive. He's going to take you down. He's going to take you to the Spanish announce table, English announce table, Ho Chi Ming Chow, the Chinese announce table. He's going to give you a rock bottom through each one. Oh, Dallas is giving the fucking stink eye right there. Messed up my flow, but I really had it going there. <laughs> I really had my Dwayne Johnson on yeah. point there for yeah. a second. You were doing the talking. I was, I was doing the showing, you know? I was doing the talking. You were doing the browing. No, no Truff. Anthony Davis. Yeah, no doubt. Damn. There you go. Uh, Brandon, that was for you, bro. I was a little, little off the top. I should have rehearsed it a little more. It would have been tight, but <laughs> <laughs> nonetheless, thank you, dog. Appreciate you. Uh, Mr. Daniel's in. I'm thinking about the mindset of Aunt Becky. She knowingly knew what she was doing and mm. then tried to write it off for, as a bribery payment for a charitable tax donation on her taxes. What kind of logic? <laughs> 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 That's so funny to me because... That is so Aunt Becky. It is. It's funny that he went into the actual uh, Aunt Becky, how she would actually react with that. That's really hilarious, actually. I like it. I love it. Uh, the homie Roe is in, who's also SWC53. This who has a fire collection. If you do not follow my man on IG, uh, it's at SWC underscore 53. Mm-hmm. Ill collection, dude. Yeah. Like, super sick shit. He should probably be doing the show, not me. His collection's ill. Uh, he says, love the 700 OG and this colorway. I'm not a laces guy, but I think I'm going to go cream or salmon. Dow, keep, 
uh, keep the Shans. They'll go up even with another restock or shock drop. Boys, I'm fully in on the Nike Waffle Sakai. I don't even know how you say this. S-A-C-A-I. You know that shoe? Mm. Nike Waffle Dallas. Come on. I think I do. I got to get both colors. What are your thoughts? You need to get the Supreme chairs. I've never copped anything from Supreme, but I've asked my New York fam to try to get the black one for me. Always watching. Keep it up. Appreciate you, bro. I have no idea what that shoe is, dog. Um, Nike Waffle S-A. Thanks for looking it up, JJ. You're crushing them. S-A. He's, he's talking about the blazer, C-A-I. correct? C-A-I. No, dude. No. Oh, because I... S-A-C-A-I. Nike yeah. Waffle. S-A-C-A-I. Because I see this Sakai or whatever you say. The blazer Sakai. Is that what he's talking about? I don't know. That's the one that I know of. God, I feel like such an idiot, dog. But I have no idea. I thought he's talking about these, bro. These are the ones. The Blazers, I'm in. Uh, I can't turn my chair around. Or I can't turn my computer oh, around. Oh, gotcha. I'm yeah, so, no. He wants... Uh, the yeah. lows. Yes. Yeah, yes. he's talking about these joints. Yeah, I don't know, man. Dude, they're, if you look at his page, I could totally see that being a pair that he would get and he would rock. Yeah. He's all about stuff like I, Yep. Yeah, those are those joints are too far out for me. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm all out on those, but I could see how some people would like them. I watched uh, Fomer Simpson's review on them. Uh, what did he call them? Am I saying the name wrong? God, I don't even remember now. I just remember you him watched the about review. Him. Well, I just have it on my TV. I just gotcha. you know as it's playing in the background. But uh, I remember him talking about him. But I don't. I don't remember what. He That's my him. bad, bro. I should have done some uh, some research on that shoe. I didn't even know what you're talking about. But no, I'm not in on like those, bro. Four pairs. Yeah, I think uh, my, I think my mom had that exact pair when I was when I was like eight. So I'm out. Damn, th- dude, I can actually see you wearing those, Dallas. Really? I like the the blazers. I just maybe he is talking about the blazers. The blazers I could see for you. For me, I, it, the shoe's not. For me <laughs> i like the blazers yeah i'm a blazer guy uh here we go johnny boost ttf please tell me you misspoke when you said antonio brown's arguably better than arguably better than amari cooper lol totally misspoke bro i meant arguably the best receiver in the league not uh not the best not arguably better he's qu- unquestionably better than antonio brown or i mean than uh amari cooper i'm sorry that was definitely oh, yeah. misspeaking anytime it's stuff like that bro it's early it's early. I'll be misspeaking over here. Uh, and to add to the idiot who said most of us don't have time to sit and watch a three-hour podcast, no shit, kid. That's why you sit and listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Take that That's so nice. uh, Listen while you're driving, sitting in traffic, while you're at the grocery store, while you're cooking. You can listen while you work out, while you're shopping at the mall for clothes and kicks, or while you're at the doctor's office waiting to get your prostate examined. <laughs> this is like a Dr. Seuss <laughs> riddle. This is fire. Uh Listen while you clean up your bedroom, your bathroom, your kitchen. Listen while you do the dishes. I personally painted the living room, two bedrooms, and a laundry room by myself while listening to the cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's so fire. Uh, oh damn, I got lost. Um, I'm just now finding out the TTF has ex- essentially says the exact same thing, LOL, but it's true. As far as negative comments go, I don't think the truth... Uh, I don't think the true listeners will care either way. It's amusing to hear real fans clap back on the haters, though. Lastly, in regards to Wade Robson, I ha- um, he had to come, or I'm sorry. Lastly, in regards to Wade Robson, had he come out and told the world what happened immediately, or to stand uh, immediately, or on the stand in trial, or 15 years after Jackson's death, I, I would still believe his story. He could have waited until he was on his own deathbed to say something, and I'd still feel the same way. I also have no problem with him suing either. Yep, couldn't agree more, dog. Mm-hmm. Couldn't agree more. Uh, I got to get Johnny Boost, dude. That, that comment, you got to get shots in that. That, was, that shit was so funny. It was literally like a Dr. Seuss riddle. I know. It was going down. Reminds me of green eggs and ham. Uh, a couple more here. Ragged Worm Boy. Unless you need the money now, no way I would sell. They're 2K by the end of 2019. Easy. Dow, there you go. Another another one saying they're going to be up over 2K. Shout out to Ragged Worm Boy for coming through. Uh, Aaron Lopez. What you said about the football player reminded me of a, a similar situation with a soccer player a little while ago. This player's name is Felipe Contijo. Hmm. Coutinho. Oh, oh he, he spelled it out phonetically here. Kuti Nayo. Kuti Nayo. Hmm. Felipe Kuti Nayo. Nice. It's suspected that he has a deformity on his right heel, little ankle bone sticking out where his foot meets the heel cup of his cleats. This caused him to get blisters and such, so he had a team equipment manager cut a hole in his cleats to relieve the pressure of the blisters so that it would stop. Uh, he is now a Nike endorsed athlete. 
So this does not look good for their image. After the first incidents, Nike custom made him a pair of the Nike Mercurial Vapor 11s, which uh, made to, were made to look like the real pair, but it was obvious that there was less structure than the real pair. This is now a new generation of the Mercurial, and there seems to be no issues with them at all. There are other instances of soccer players uh, in soccer where players tamper with their boots to make them more comfortable and easier to get on. A lot of players slice the part uh, slice the part where the one piece is knitted in the enclosure on both Nike and Adidas cleats to make them easier to get on. A lot of players prefer having a lower collar on their cleats so you know what parts to cut off and on the top. Many players asked if they endorsing asked their endorsing brands to put sole plates from different models on the model that the players wear because they prefer it. In extreme cases, the player could not be wearing it at all. What, uh, what, a se- what seems Neymar Jr., for example, hated the Nike Hyper Venom Phantom 2 because, uh, uh, because of this point. So much so that he asked Nike to switch into the Mercurial Vapor 10. Since Neymar was the poster boy for the Hyper Venom line, Nike did not want to, uh, did not want to make the change, so they gave him his pre- preferred Mercurial Vapor 10, but disguised it to look like the Hyper Venom. Everything from the top to the bottom was made to look like the Hyper Venom. Sorry for the essay. That's fascinating. Hmm. So just because they didn't want to make that change visually, but they wanted to still make it fit the player, it almost is like they made a whole new outer. It's like they, Form. yeah, they put the, <laughs> that's that's tricky shit, dude. Mm-hmm. So it's like, because that's the shoe they want to sell. That's the shoe sure. they want to promote. That's the shoe that they've ma- just made a ton of. It's their biggest shoe. They don't yeah. want to pull them off the line. So now they have him wearing a shoe that looks like this shoe, but it's not actually that shoe. Weird. That's super interesting. It's tricky. Wow. Great comment, Aaron. In, uh, interesting shit there, dude. Uh, CT Sneaker Freak is in. Sell, sell, sell. That's mm. it. That's simple, Dal. He wants you to sell the shoe. Purple Swag says, man, I've gotten used to the 97 ones, but it's getting tempting to sell. Yes, let's go. One podcast I certainly don't underrate. Cue the gunshot noise. That's what uh, that, you said that right when we first uploaded the podcast. That's all for the YouTube comments this week, man. Thank you guys for coming in. Stupid heavy, dude. We are, we are, uh, we are jammed. We got to. We don't even have any time. We got to jump right into. Uh, let's jump right into the underrated news. We got about ten minutes or so left. Dope. So let's uh, let's get into that. And uh, here, I'm gonna, let's get some. Yeah. Mm. All right, Dal. What uh, what news stories you got, man? What underrated news stories? All right, let's uh, let's start with uh, Mr. TJ Dillashaw. Have you heard the recent events that I heard a little bit through Chris, uh, but not a ton. I don't know all the info. Give me some. Give me some info here. All right, let's take it back to uh, January nineteenth when he actually fought Henry Cejudo. He dropped down weight, right, and that was controversial. He dropped a lot of weight to make this, right, because he he fights. Uh, he fights in the in the bantam weight, right? So he dropped down to the fly weight, which was a big, big thing. Because yes. Dillashaw is not a heavy bantam weight, but he, you know, he dropped a lot to make that happen. That being said, now let's take it back. And he obviously lost. He lost uh, within 32 seconds to Henry Cejudo. He was trying to hold two belts. He currently held the bantam weight through that. Was trying to have the fly weight as well. Fast forward to a couple days ago. He literally uh, came out and put a big comment on his Instagram before anything came out. So we were all like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. And I don't want to read the whole thing, but here's a little bit of it. To all my fans, I wanted to be the first one to let you know that USADA and the New York uh, State Athletic Commission has informed me of my uh, of an adverse finding in a test taken for my last fight, Dilla Show wrote on Instagram. While words can't even begin to express how disappointed I am at this time, please know that I'm working with my team to understand what has occurred and how to resolve the situation as quickly as possible. Out of fairness and respect to the rest of the division, I've informed the UFC that I'll be voluntarily relinquishing my title while wow. I deal with this matter. I want to thank all of you in advance for the support. Now, Voluntarily? Nobody told him. To, nobody was going to take it away. Nobody told him he it wasn't his. He voluntarily did this before anybody even sa- came out and said, "Hey, you're responsible for a bad test." Okay, so do I respect this? I do. He knew about I, it. Too. He knew about it. Yeah. So what this goes into. So I think JJ's right. So I respect this man for relinquishing the title. Yeah. I respect this man for giving the belt up. I respect it because he obviously knew. He obviously knew something was going on. He obviously knew. I feel like he knew. It's not no John, Bo- John Bones Jones thing where, you know. It, it was it goes, adrenaline. Yeah, it goes back into this what could have been. what. I think John was, was, was not guilty of this. I think TJ is guilty as shit. 
based off of this. But I also respect the hell out of him for giving it up and, and not holding this title. When the UFC, when Dana White, nobody said you have to give this up. Nobody said you had to relinquish this. Um, and I think it's a big deal to hold a belt. Is that an admission of guilt then? I think so. Why, Absolutely. Why do it if you know... I don't know. I'm confu- I'm defend, confused. Try yeah. to defend himself because, if he didn't. Yeah. Why don't Why don't you try to defend yourself? Why don't you try to go through the processes of the hearings to to have a secondary test to see what it was? Unless to, you're like a major bitch, but like now I will tell you, he he did a whole different training regiment with this with this last fight to drop that much weight. He went on different regiments. yeah. He went on different meal plans. He went. I mean, he and he was very transparent on his gram on his social media on what he was using and what he was doing. But obviously, there's you know there's there's cover-ups and that kind of stuff, but it's it's a bummer, man, because he he did fight he did train here locally, which is which is cool as well. So he's kind of a local boy when it comes to uh, the training uh, perspective. But uh, long interesting. St- long story short, the you know the New York State Athletic Commission issued a one-year suspension uh, from action, and that stems from his last fight, so January nineteenth, um, I believe, is to when that's going to start. So from January nineteenth to obviously January nineteenth of next year. As well as a ten thousand dollar fine. Um, so, and this is again just a prohibited substance. We don't know what it is yet, dude. Something's weird here. It just weirds me out that okay, so you're gonna cheat, right? He knowingly cheated. That's what we think, right? Based off of just giving up the belt that quick. Okay, right. yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure it feels like an omission of guilt. He was trying right? to. He was trying a new steroid or dope or whatever that he thought <laughs> would go under the radar. You sound, sound, like, sound like dad. He, like, tried, like, new, he <laughs> tried some new, some kid tried some new steroid or he tried some new dope. That damn, that damn kid won't put down the dope. Okay. Let's just start reading YouTube comments like that. JJ, JJ one. Stringstein, the principal. Okay. Well, something, I guess something got to be good to be underrated. Damn. Yeah. This podcast is crap. Yeah. All right, go ahead. No, but I'm pretty sure he was just trying to use a new steroid or something that he thought would go under the radar and apparently got hit and now he's regretting Here's it. what I'm confused about. Uh, what I'm confused about. The the fact that he did this, mm-hmm. so we think knowingly, yeah. he won the belt. If he was never found guilty, then is he not relinquishing the belt? I would assume. What's the point of relinquishing the belt if you just because you were found guilty of it? You're still... That's not an... you. Why do it in the first place if you knew that if you were caught you were going to relinquish the belt? You know what I mean? Like it just feels in this world. Yeah. Why does it make him a bad guy? It makes him a weird. Like it makes it weird. Why? Why do you? Why do you do this? Uh, if you know you're going to get caught, like is I wonder. I guess I wonder what the plan in his mind was. If he knew, is he in his mind was he like, all right, if I get caught, I'm going to relinquish the belt. Yeah. Or was it like I'm not planning on getting caught, but if I do, I'm going to relinquish the belt. Yeah. Or was it like I feel like it was I'm not planning time. on getting caught. If I get caught, and we'll see what happens at the time. And then that came, and then he just decided spur of the moment. All right, I'm going to release the belt. Yeah. You know, I'm wondering. Kind, I'm kind, kind of I'm just gun, confused. Yeah, kind of a gunshot reaction. Pretty I think, sure is what he was just is. trying to lower the repercussions from this accident. I think I think he's trying to save as much face as he possibly yeah, can through something like this. For sure. I think I think it's a brand and image thing, and uh, you know when something like that comes out, dude, that can that just, that can kill your career. That's what your, I, right. your whole career. Um, so I think this is like, hey, whether whether I am or guilty of it or not, they found something. I'm going to relinquish my belt. Try to still respect me. That's it's, what I feel like. It's really yeah, it's so weird to me, bro. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm weirded. I'm a little weirded out by it, but yeah. I know that uh, there's a lot of people that are not fans of TJ Dillashaw. So yeah. They're probably really happy today. Totally. For, uh, anytime you see a guy get popped that you're not a fan of. Yeah. Uh, but before you go to the next news story, a couple up. Well, I guess he doesn't even need the updates, but we we first game, Minnesota. Yeah. Upset. Pulls the upset. Louisville. Takes down Louisville. Now we have another upset uh, possibly brewing. You got Yale five points down with 40 seconds to go in the game against LSU. Mm. LSU was up five. They're a three seed. Yale is a 14 seed. Wow. They're down five, but you got LSU at the line. So I think they're look, they look like they're going to be able to hang on unless they just can't shoot free throws yeah. within this last 40 seconds. Totally. Unless they just melt down at the free throw line. Uh, I think they'll actually be okay. Yeah. You think Con Lee's okay? Think he's oh, stressed out right now? I think Con Lee is Con a little Lee. sweaty right now. He's a little sweaty. Hands a little sweaty. Palms are sweaty. Right Knees now. weak. Arms are petty. Bombs are heavy. Mom spaghetti. spaghetti. He's nervous. But on the surface, he's, he's calm not and ready. He's not nervous anymore. Yeah. No, he's not. They're up seven now. Nice. Still 40 seconds ago, though. The uh, free throw shooting is being done by LSU. Um, Dal, go ahead and continue along. What's the uh, what's the next thing All right, we got next, here? All right, next story. Um, so, obviously, you had Woodstock uh, 99, correct? That was the last one. That was the last one, and then you had a Woodstock previous to that, the original Woodstock, yes. right? Uh, new Woodstock has been announced, Woodstock 50. 
And this is August 16th, 17th, and 18th of this year in Watkins Glen, New York. You know anything about this? I know about Watkins Glen uh, for the uh, the uh, race car track, ah, NASCAR. Yeah, absolutely. Is that, where is this at? Uh, I don't know for sure. More that would than be that. fire if it was at the NASCAR. It might be at the track. Track? Yeah. No, NASCAR, Watkins Glen's like a, uh, it's a road course. It's oh, not a circle it? track. So it's like, it's long, dude. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like Gran Turismo. Yeah, so uh, so this is this is obviously new and huge. Um, I love I love music festivals; they're great. They're, you know, I've attended a few myself. Nothing as big as AKA Woodstock, but um, I don't know if I'm in my head on this one or not. But maybe I just don't enjoy music of today like I enjoyed maybe in '99. Maybe yeah. I enjoyed in the '60s and '70s. Maybe whatever. Uh, so my problem with this, I'm pumped on it. And I think I should be going to something as big as this. You know, you and I are both music heads. Right. But when I look at some of these people, in, in, you know, uh, within the lineups uh, for Friday's day, uh, Friday's day, Saturdays, and then Sundays, I'm not super pumped to go. I'm really not. Let me give you a couple of headliners uh, throughout a couple of these days. So day one, Friday, August 16th, The Killers. Not a big fan. No. Miley Cyrus. Couldn't give a shit. Right. Santana. That's kind of interesting, right? Because of ha- the generational gap in which these guys have still survived. Uh, the Lumineers, the Tours, which is Jack White's project. Yes. Uh, Robert Plant and the Sensational Space Shifters. Don't know much about it. Robert Plant really doesn't have the voice that he had no. in Led Zeppelin. So no. We've had that honest. combo in private before. You bet. Uh, Nathaniel Ratcliffe and the Night Sweats, kind of more of a local guys mm. uh, that just got big. Uh, John Fogarty. Without CCC or without Creedence Clearwater, right? Just John Fogarty. Um, now let's get past that. Saturday, Dead and Company, which is cool, right? It's Grateful Dead with John Mayer, you know, kind of the new rendition. Chance the Rapper, The Black <laughs> Keys, Sturgill Simpson, Greta Van Fleet, Portugal the Man, Gary Clark Jr. Some good artists. I just heard an interview with him on Stern. It was awesome. Yeah, for sure. So some good artists, but it's nothing that's making me think like if I miss this and not watch it on TV. Like oh, I'm it's going to be televised? I think so. Oh. I, that's what I've heard. Yeah, that's going to be televised. Um, day three, Jay-Z, Imagine Dragons, Halsey, Cage the Elephant, uh, Janelle Monet, Young the Giant, Common. That's that really... Day's... About it. Now, there's a lot more, and there's a lot that haven't been announced yet. But these are some of the bigger ones. Um, are you, you in? No, I don't. I don't. I'm not no. a festival guy for one. Are you not? Uh, I'm. As I'm getting older, I'm finding it more and more annoying to be around more and more people. Totally. And I'm getting more and more impatient with waiting in line, with dealing with crowds, with all this stuff. Honestly, I don't even go out if it's, if it's not a VIP experience. I I sound bougie as hell, but if yeah. it's not like I just don't. I don't want to do it. Yeah. I'm annoyed. I'm over it. I'm not a fan of it. I don't have fun doing it. Sure. Um, it seems I always feel like I paid more money and bought more, bought outfits and did. I spent. It's like, eh, I could have gone without this. You know what I mean? I kind of could have gone either way mm-hmm. on it. So that's how I. That's how I end up. Hmm. I don't. I don't really care. You're right. I just. I think I'm just too. Uh, too bougie. That's what. <laughs> that's what it comes down to, dog. I don't feel like going stomping through the mud. I don't feel like going and dealing with. All this stuff. And it's funny. This reminds me of, um, it just shows how the times have changed. Do you remember what the original Woodstock was like? Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was terrible. I mean, as far as uh, the conditions and the disease and mud and all the stuff that went on at the original Woodstock. And they brought that up in the Fire Festival documentary. It's like how far we've come. That is still revered as like one of the greatest events of all time, even though it was a nightmare just as yeah. fire festival was but then look at what we think of fire festival yeah like but we don't treat woodstock that way even though it was equally just as bad mm-hmm. the the initial one i mean maybe it was a little better because the show still went on yeah but they they talked about in that documentary a ton of things that went wrong with woodstock yeah. that were equivalent to that well obviously I mean, we're not going to see that with this woodstock sure should be pretty uh i remember even in 99 hearing stories uh, obviously i wasn't there but hearing stories of you know women getting taken advantage of mm, rape uh, right. safety uh the mud uh they had you know when uh green day was on set actually and green day encouraged the mud fights that's where the mud fights came right well you know green day was on stage um but yeah a lot of security issues um you know lack of water lack of security um you know so i, I assume this one will be uh pretty tight i would think but uh you know another woodstock coming our way 
coming our way. Uh, coming to you. Hey. Here we go. Seven seconds to go. Yale down three. 74-77. Wow. foul after foul. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why That's why I said LSU is going to have to knock down their free throws. I haven't have been to. paying enough attention. But uh, what's been happening? They've been missing free throws left and right? No. Or uh, LSU? LSU has been keeping it up. What's happening is LSU will get their free throws, then uh, Yale will come back, hit a three, and then end up fouling. Yale, so wow. Yale's hitting threes, but so they're basically death they're by trying inches. To out, yeah, they're, they're trying getting, to outdo they're getting their one fouls point right now. At a time by gotcha. hitting threes every time they knock down a two. Which that's, that's about all you can do. That's why it makes basketball so tough to bet, too, because you can yeah. just get screwed out of the spread at any last second here. Yeah. Now they're up four. Oh, I'm sorry, they're up five. Seems to be in hand. Here's Yale tries three. another late oh. three. Not going to get it. Looks like Con Lee and LSU going to squeak it out. Oh, Turney, did you have there LSU deep, Dow? How, how deep do you have LSU? Uh, LSU going to uh, 16. Ah, out at 16. Yeah. I think uh, I'm trying to – what are they? I have LSU. them out in 32. You have them out next round? Yeah. So you have, have them Maryland. winning – you have them winning this first round and then getting taken out by Maryland. Yeah. Wow. Wow. JJ. JJ. Look at you. I uh I actually have yell I have LSU being upset here. So I'm I'm down two games. Oh really? Yep. Gotcha. I have Yale coming out of this one. That would have been fire, dude. Imagine imagine oh Yeah, that would have been sick for points. Yeah. Damn it. Uh, All right. All right um, go ahead. Just one other uh just one other quick update. Uh real quick, let me get to it. Um a couple nights ago, while you were sleeping, did you hear about uh, the AirPods 2 being announced? Through you? I heard about that. Yeah. S- through you, very disappointing. Yeah, I would say uh, not a lot of differences, right? And I think one of the biggest disappointments that we all, as a nation, probably feel. Yeah. Where's the color? That's what I'm saying, dude. Where's the color? That's the whole reason I wanted to cop. Where's my black AirPods? Where's my red? Where's my blue? You can do it on a phone. You can do all these great colors yep. throughout the years. And you're still going to do white? I know. What's the reason? Killing me. So, do you know? Uh, do you want to know kind of some of the uh, quick updates as to what's new and what's old? Just a little comparison. Sure. Cool. Quick comparison. Uh, they went from the W1 chip to the H1 chip. Let me tell you what that gives you, okay? You have, with that, uh, upgrade Siri, okay? So, uh, what that means is you can summon the assistant with your voice rather than tapping on the pod like before. You can make a call or adjust the volume with a Siri command. Okay, don't need it. Uh, with the new chip, faster connection times. Apple says switching between active devices like iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch is twice as fast. That's what they always say with their phones as well. Nothing nothing shocking here, yeah. right? Uh, lower latency, so 30% less latency for your gamers out there. I don't game, not important to me, don't care, but great for you guys playing Fortnite. Might be good for a guy like me that's editing. Yeah. Uh, but I don't, you know, editing on the laptop or whatever, editing video, editing audio, but I don't I don't have any issues currently. I know Teddy, when he first got his pair, he said mm-hmm. that was an issue with editing. Yeah. I think there's been software updates or whatever since. I haven't never had that issue with mine. Sure. Mine feel like they're pretty on point. Yeah. They may be a tad delayed, but I don't notice it enough with what I'm editing. But aside from that, all the chip is going to give you is uh, supposedly a more stable wireless connection. And I've heard some connectivity issues from time to time. So, okay, cool. If that fixes that, that's cool. Uh, The biggest things I would say, um, you know, battery life, uh, five hours, about the same. Um, Talk time, about an extra hour. So it goes from two to three hours. Um, And then Siri, of course, touch activated on the previous versus, hey, Siri, the voice activation. Uh, That being said, $160, $160, right, for the old, 199 for the new pair. Ridiculous. So you're getting taxed. The biggest, biggest change, in my opinion, wireless charging. The case. So they finally bought a wireless charging case, which is great. Apple still does not have their own wireless charging platform yet that yeah. they offer. Okay, you're still going to go Mophie. You're still going to go Belkin. You're still going to go... You can even use Samsung's uh, right. uh, wireless chargers because they all use, again, the same technology. Um, but that being said... So if you got the Apple AirPods, you want the new ones, you got to buy a pair of Hyper Adapt B-Balls to be able to say. charge them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just use that charger. Um, that being said, uh, you can buy just the wireless charging case uh, for your first generation AirPods that is compatible. So you can buy that case for 79 bucks. Do you know if the colors are squashed? Is it, hey, we're not coming out with colors? Is this it? Is this our... Because we know they're not in stores. Yeah. They're only online. They're only online so far. So is there still a possibility? Am I waiting for nothing? 
I think I think you're waiting for something that's not going to happen at least with this generation. They're oh calling gosh. this. They're they're not even calling these AirPod two. The rumor on social media is AirPods one point five. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> so that's true. And I, and I think joke. And I think it's because we're all still waiting for something big. Wireless charging was obviously and battery were the two. Biggest all I wanted wants. was wireless charging colors. Yeah, I would pay the one ninety nine if you gave me black and you gave me wireless charging with it. Yeah. I would have no c- complaints. I wouldn't be sitting here bitching. I wouldn't be making fun of you because you bought the extra bought wireless the case. charging yeah. case. But I, maybe that's not important to you. You know I've been wanting the color. You know I've been wanting the wireless charging. I just want both. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I don't want the AirPods 1.5. I want the real yeah. twos. Yeah. Shit's annoying. You, what are you doing, Apple? You'd blow those out like Zion did on his 2.5s? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. Uh, so that's hey that's uh, that's the latest and greatest with news, man. So uh, aside from that, uh, we can we can. I wanted to jump into the Vontes Burfecht situation and or the oh, Vontes yeah. Burfecht signing with the Raiders, but we'll go into that on uh, on Monday show. It okay. drops Tuesday. We just don't have enough time. I want to kind of dive into that and go over his rap sheet because I did some research on that and found it fascinating. Well, and the controversy with Antonio him Brown. and Antonio Brown, right? Yeah, so which is interesting. That'll uh, be something to look forward to on the next show. We'll jump into that one. We can also do Clay Matthews. Yes. Talk about his signing. Yep. yep. And then uh, AJ McCarron, your uh, your boy from Alabama back in the day. We've done NFL stuff the past few shows, so I wanted yeah. to give it a little rest and uh, focus on the tournament a little bit here and, and some other underrated news and stuff. But we'll jump into that next uh, next week. We got to figure out, yes, we're going to have to figure out the trips, man. Monday's show will be normal. We got to figure out if we can get that USB mic and the Skype and all this stuff working for Thursday's show. Maybe we don't because you might be in Vegas. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I don't know how serious. I don't know if you're really sincere or not. Oh, I'm sincere. <laughs> I, I'm serious satellite radio. I, I'm serious as a I know you're saying you're serious, but I don't think you're serious oh, satellite serious. radio. Do you have it in your car? I do. Okay, you are serious then. Uh, <laughs> I do. That's enough. Uh, <laughs> All righty. I do. Let's... Um, yeah, let's close on that. Uh, I want to say a big, big thank you and a big shout out to everybody that uh, that came through again, man, in the comments. Uh, with all the nice things you guys said, man, we really appreciate you. Shout out again to um, the Brian Philly the Philly plug. plug for sending in the shoe or for sending in the uh, gifts. JJ for bringing in the shoes, the re up, uh, bringing in that Pure Spectrum CBD, uh, sponsoring the YouTube comments as always. And then uh, Ascent Eyes down in Parker, man. Go see my man Thomas. He'll hook you up. They got Cartier's, they got Gucci's, they got every style, anything fire, any fly shit, you know, Fendi, whatever you want, man. They got it down there. Custom shit. So you can go through and do that too. Uh, anything more from you guys, man? Anything else? Nope. Nope. Good to go. Good to go. Uh, as always, man, we appreciate you guys rocking with us, and we will see you fools Tuesday.